which way you want to go, nigga. Land up, down, come on, man. Just find it in yourself, man. Come on, man. Here's probably a bit too much. Pimp, wake the bed with this here shit, man. Pimp, 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 pimp. You got chewed up. Lisa had a problem. She never realized that all the dick she was sucking in the hood, she could have made herself mine. But it's my fault because she a hoe and didn't listen to a pimp. So she writing you in the pen over and over. See, I believe in serving niggas papers when I knock this hoe. Like a pimp hit me on Beach Boulevard. I got knocked, gonna get knocked, deep knocked, re knocked. But I'm a nick knock my motherfucking self. I shit free. I, I to be I, oh my. M E I for I knock knock for winner. Ha ha, me too. Like an R2 twin magnet pimp response. Plus your ass sweating like a cheap suit. Just when you thought the pimpin' was in you, uh-uh. it's just on you. What's wrong? Kitty cat got a nose bleed, red ribbon week. It's just on you. Sometimes it felt like pimping me dead, but that's a temporary condition too. I called a pimp guy, he put me a hole, but he called back. Cool. And I can't believe how some of y'all niggas let the glory pass you by. But steady wanna pick my brain about the game and ask why. And if it wasn't for Tony, y'all motherfuckers would still be riding around putting all the gossiping like bitches to my homies. It's gonna be 40 days and 40 nights sucks. It's just so we can't When she disrespect you in front of your homeboys, you are the weakest link because it's just so Man, I mean, either she gonna be a stand-up hoe or a fall down bitch. Now it's just so we can't win. But died eight or nine times and ain't found him yet. I tell you, man, I was sitting back looking. Look, let's let's learn. learn. Pimp, pimp, pimp. And I don't see no I'm difference. Pimp, whoop the size of shit. That's how I stock my play every single day. I don't know no other way. Born again. Yeah. Pimp, different, hit, different, feel different, look different, walk different, talk different. And the tricks you fucking never try to keep up with him. That's what they do. Don't even think you fucking are better than them. I mean, the joy about it, man, and knock you straight on your back. It's like you got the Holy Ghost feeling good like that. Share this, like I mean, this video. Come on, man. It's just so. Mean to tell me you mad at Pimpin' because you don't see no difference? It's just so. Just when you got a taste for steak in your mouth, she gave you a lot because it's just so. When she said all she did was kiss and you said that's when she knew it was just so. Appreciate you guys, man, for being here, man. It's another day. Before we even start, hit the like button right now. Ain't nothing change. Ain't nothing change. Hit the like button. Hit the share button right now. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Blessings to Knock. Knock always looking out for this game. Let me make sure. Is my brother? Yeah, okay. Let me make sure my mods is in place. Blessings to not coming in, starting things off with the 20, man. Blessings, fam. But hit the like button right now. Hit the share button right now. And uh, I got to tell you, for those that don't know, you know what I mean? My Instagram was destroyed. So that's why I haven't been going live on Instagram because that page was destroyed. Hopefully temporarily. But if it has been destroyed and I never get, get it back, so what? You know, I created another IG, you know what I mean, page for everybody to go to. Go to Instagram, put in S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P. Just simply sinful to P. And as soon as you put in sinful to P, you're going to find it. You know what I mean? Appreciate, man. Tony for coming up in here. Christian coming in with the two. That's right. Water and fruit. Tony coming up in here with the 20, man. Bless us, Ken, folk. Bro, I appreciate that. Love. Hold on, let me do this. But hit that like button right now. Let's hurry up and get these likes more than 100 because I'm getting ready to say some things. Of course, I was, I had to speak about this and I had to speak about that. So a lot of the people in the game, man, you know what I mean? It's, it's been a famine out there. 
You know what I mean? And, you know, when it's a famine out there, people start going to this table and that table. And because Whole Foods ain't here no more, you're forced to eat McDonald's. You're forced to eat Top Ramen. You're forced to eat ravioli. You know what I mean? But Whole Foods is here and there. You know what I mean? Something organic. You know what I mean? For your soul. You know? I'm here. You know? Hit that like button right now. And that's right, water and fruit. I told you guys from the uh, 21st, from January to the 30th of my uh, birthday, the 30th of April, which I'll be 35 years old. I'm not putting nothing but water and fruit in my body. So just like I did from the 1st of November uh, to January the 1st, and I did nothing but water and fruit. As of right now, nothing but water and fruit from the 21st of January all the way to the 30th of, of April. You know what I mean? That's it. Let me see my brother. Let me hold on. Hold on. Let me see my brother is right. Charming and disarming. Bro. Young Smooth, thank you, man, for coming in with the one. But I, I really wish you guys would share this, especially for those that's in the game. Share this on Facebook for me. Share this on Instagram. Yeah, baby, you can see it. You know, man, you, you can see it, you know? Yeah, and, and, and for my students here, they can see it. Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Give me just a second. Speaking of, see how? That's why we got to start having more billion-dollar conversations. We got to start having more conversations that's productive. Because as soon as I spoke, on my students, here go one big head student right now, acting as if she got emergency. Hold on. When people know that when I'm live, I don't want to be disturbed. Give me just a second. Edward, thank you for coming in with the 20, bro. Appreciate it. That's love. You just got through texting me. You must see that I'm on live now. I like going on. Hello? Your call has been forwarded to a bot. The, the, the bitch is texting me even right now. I don't got time. If it was an emergency, you would have picked up. Okay. Give us some. Um, tell that bitch we ain't got that much to give. Look at you. Let's go, P. Free good game. No, ain't no such thing as free game. It's fee game. Because it's going to cost you more than money to apply the game that I give. It's going to cost you your life. So, you know, even if I gave out some good information pertaining to being a man, it's not easy being no damn man. It's sacrifices you got to make on being a man. Ain't no such thing as free game. It's just, you know, good fee game. Because it costs more than green papers with dead hypocrites on it to really live this game. You might lose your life. You might lose your liberty in society. You might be in a correctional facility, you know, for an eternity if you do things contrary to the things that I'm conveying within this video. You please call me sideways. Is this bitch? Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Bitch crazy. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, I don't know. Straight facts. <clears throat> you gotta be with I just called you right now while you texting. I'm live right now talking to my people. You supposed to be taking care of things in class. And I'm teaching class right now. So unless it's an emergency, you know this. Why are you texting and calling me? Everybody know not to text or call me while I'm talking. I apologize. All right. Blessings to you. But the things that I'm getting ready to say within this video, I want you to send this out because I'm going to say some things. I wish I was at the house or, you know, hurry up and get in my new house. Here, I'm just looking for a good secluded, you know, area, you know, here where I could do my thing. I can't be hollering and screaming in no damn 
apartment and stuff. You know what I mean? But it's a certain way that a certain game got to be conveyed, baby. So I need you guys to share this. Come on, man. Don't be looking like, ooh, seeing shit. It's just a man shit. That's what we do. You know, sometimes women be in their feelings and emotions and shit like that. Baby, I tend to all of that. I finish allowing the game to use me. But when I'm teaching, when I'm preaching, when I'm speaking, when I'm motivating, when I'm encouraging, I don't need you to uh, come with me with that. Because you should have did that before I went live. So unless you about to die or unless it's a, a, a situation that needs to be tend to right now, you know, put that Carl Thomas shit away, baby. Yeah, it's time for the game. Get these likes up. I don't know why we haven't hit 100 likes, but I got 191 people looking at me. I got you, P. Share it and like. Thank you. Because I want to give you... It's, I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't want this to be a three-hour video, but most likely it probably will. You know what I mean? I don't know. Hopefully it'll just be an hour and a half, but it's so many things. And then this might not even be the first what pimps don't do, you know, because it's just so much shit that I'm seeing and I have to call it out. So, you know, let's do that right now. You had a bad dream. Hey, we, we going to talk about all of that. But to my youth that's not in the game, I love you. You know, contrary to what you heard about me, contrary to whatever feelings you have, but I love you. You Especially if you're a young black man, uh, you're not even 20 years old, or you in your 20s, you in your 30s, you might be in your 40s. You know what I mean? I love you, and I love your freedom. So by all means, listen to the things that I'm saying within this video, because not only will this information keep you from being in incarceration, but if you take heed to the information that I'm going to convey within this video, you won't have anything as far as on your reputation of the things I'm getting ready to say and speak against today. OK, because there's a lot of people that speak about me and they should speak about me because I've done some things contrary to right, common sense, wisdom and times past. So I should be criticized and crucified for it for the rest of my days. It is what it is. If I'm paying a pimp thousands of dollars and he won't he won't be intimate with me or spend time with me, should I stay or should I leave him? Well, appreciate uh, the, the, the dollar, baby. Uh, but let me say this to you before I start. Um, if a pimp, if this man that is presiding over you, if he does not desire to spend time with you or be intimate with you, first of all, how long have you been with him? No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Of course, that's the number. Leave, leave him alone. Girl, you should go. Stop that. You know, because you might be encouraging a bitch. You trying to be Harriet Tubman to a bitch and trying to be Underground Railroad and save a bitch from pimping. We don't save bitches from pimping. So you need to do some investigation about the situation before you try to encourage the bitch to leave some pimping. Because the bitch might got some simping on her line. She might got a boyfriend ass nigga on her line. She might got some please baby let's make this deal ass nigga on her line. And she's in the valley of decision. And by you sitting over there saying yeah you should leave him. That might have been confirmation in her mind. To sit up there and get with this let's make a deal ass nigga. So what I will say is speak it indirectly directly. Because I can't speak about things in totality. Because in reality I don't know uh, the situation in totality. But what I will say, if a woman desires to be intimate uh, with uh, this particular man, she want to spend time with this man, and she's made that verbally known, she made it, you know, loyalty loan, loyalty loan, loyalty loan, no, no, loyalty loan. Yes, you know, it's more than currency. It's loyalty as well. You know, because a lot of you, you think that the pimping is a prostitute. OK, the pimping is not a prostitute. And even though that's not the beginning of my message, but it's still part of it. Let me say this. Pimps are not prostitutes. You can't just give me some money and that's it. OK, that's like right now. I know if I said things to make renegades happy uh, or bitches happy, they're going to be all up in here. Just, you know, donate for me saying a bunch of stupid ass shit. 
But no, I'm a representative of the game. I'm a watchman. So this is the thing. If you give a pimp $100,000, the moment that you give him the $100,000, 200, whatever you get, a watch or whatever, that's his money. And whatever he decides to do with the money, whether it's wise or unwise, that is his decision to do whatever he decides to do with the money that was given to him for the game that he blessed you with. All right. That's number one. Number two, if you give the pimp some money, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get some dick. It's not guaranteed that pimp is going to give you a, a dick marathon and fuck you till the motherfucking rapture come. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get any of that. Why? Because the pimp the pimpin ain't dating you. When the pimp want to be inside you, it's because he wants to be inside you. And then let me say this to you, too. Thank you, game, putting that on my mind. Some of you women say things and do things, you know, and appreciate the hunter, baby, but I got to I got to give it to you. You know, I'm sinful to pee. I come through with the sword. Um, some of you, I don't know if this is you, but some of you have taught yourself and done things to make yourself look less attractive. OK, um, I remember one time I had a bride. And, you know, uh, very attractive, beautiful, light-skinned, like I like them. Everybody know I like them old Faith Evans-looking type of broad. Um, and she just, she just so attractive. But everything out of her mouth was nigga this, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this. And anybody that's ever been under my pee know that I do not allow any HOE of any color to sit up there and just use nigga fluently. And you can be a black bitch. But I'm still not going to allow you to just be saying nigga, 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 nigga. No. And this one bitch up in here right now, this one of my ex-students, she know that I don't play about that. I don't play about profanity, uh, uh, nigga. Every now and then, uh, depending on what they feeling about, I allow them to speak. But we do not. What the pimping don't do. Pimpin' don't allow bitches to just be nigga and this nigga and this nigga and this fag ass nigga and this bitch ass nigga and this trick ass. We don't do that. Hold on, bitch. Be the fuck quiet. The fuck is you sitting over there saying nigga this and nigga that for? Well, I heard you, bitch. You heard who? You seen me do what? That's what I thought. That's the way you check shit. Whatever I do amongst my peers, that's the fuck I do amongst my peers, my pee partners. And just because if you heard me on the phone chopping it up with one of my pee partners and we said, nigga, bitch, that don't give you a fucking license to sit up there and use the word. You stay in a woman's place and no woman of any color will say nigga under my direction. Now, my opinion ain't got no dominion on how other peas govern their kingdom, but a bitch under my instructions is not using the word nigga. None. And those that follow me, follow my doctrine of the game, no, we don't allow women to use the word nigga. You know, we don't allow women to speak. That's why a lot of women can't see you guys up here and see you as the giants that you want to be respected. Ass because you so goddamn busy talking to the woman like she eye level with you and she's not now getting back you know before I get real deep into my message if that man hasn't had sex with you because it's a bitch up in here right now you know what I mean she know I ain't never put my dick inside of her never and she knows that okay and just to keep it 100 she never really stayed down long enough to be with me on that level. Now, if she had been with me in my younger days when I wasn't as seasoned and as wise, yes, she would have been blessed. You know what I mean? Seeing the way that I used to move in my early days, you know, I was reckless. But once I came out of prison, I came out with another vision pertaining to the game. I knew that the things that I was doing was immature, reckless, stupid, dumb, unwise. So, you know, I knew I had to sit up there and pimp up. I couldn't continue on with that stupidity if I was going to get into a continuity of participating in this game. So, you know, um, I'm not so quick to take my dick out. 
I'm not so quick to get intimate with somebody because they giving me some money. It take more than that. It take way more. I didn't even hit the bitch. The bitch that's even here right now that's been with me over two goddamn years. Okay. Her motherfucking ass didn't get fucked as soon as I got here. I didn't bless her with dick as soon as I got here. No. And she had been with me over two years without physically seeing me. Just imagine being a woman in another country and you sitting over there giving loyalty and currency to a man, physically taking care of his business every goddamn day for over two years and you haven't physically seen him. And then when you finally get to see him, he don't even rush inside of you. Because there's no need. I know the way you see me. I know the image within your head. And I can't diminish or tarnish that image that's in your head because the image that I put in your head, I pimp for it. It's a heavenly image. And I refuse to diminish that image simply because of a temporary lust. I can't do it. So it's a bitch right now in the comment section right now. She know. She know I'm not just talking shit. She know I'm the real thing. She ain't even been blessed with it. And the one of the main reasons why she ain't been blessed with it is because, number one, you uh, she didn't put in the time for it. It wasn't so much money. But I'm not about to sit up there and bless you to be with me on that particular level. And you ain't even been with me longer than a Tyson fight. You can't follow simple directions. Every time the wind blow this way and that way, you know what I mean? You get fragile. You get weak. No. Fuck, I'm mean, like blessing you with what? So if you can't stay down for me, be loyal to me, then what the fuck I look like blessing you with me in totality, intimately, physically? Fuck no. You know what I mean? So hold on. Let me just finish this. Thank you, uh, DJ. For some reason, I keep taking care of women and throwing money at them. Why can't I get rid of the spirit of tricking out of me? I'm going to speak on it. I'm going to speak on it. But I appreciate you uh, for the 50. But let me say this, because I, I want, because it's, it's renegades and strippers that watch my shit. So I have to make sure that I really, uh, I got to, I got to, I got to convey that thing and break that shit down. Um, listen, another motherfucker thing, it, the game just keep pouring it on me. Um, some of you, you know, are, I don't know if this is in your household. I don't know, but we're not going to act like financial ain't part of it either. Some of you are not producing like that, okay? Uh, and what I mean by producing like that, you know, uh, you're not producing, you know, that standard. Some of you have job mentalities. You still have that nine to five spirit. And you're comparing what you're doing recently to the currency that you used to make previously when you was working a damn job. And that's the wrong way to look at shit. Because just because, you know what I mean, you was making a crumb at your job and now you have a, a half of a slice of a pie, that don't mean that you meeting the standard. It just means you're doing better than what you was doing. And you was doing nothing then and you're doing a little bit past nothing now, which is not enough. So that could be a reason too. Maybe it's not you reaching his standard. You know what I mean? And then some of you be begging a nigga for some dick. That's not attractive, ladies. Don't beg no man for no dick. I'm speaking to squares and hoes in the game. Stop begging for dick. Don't do that. If you flirt, you know what I mean? Because energy, let energy know when it's cool. Spirit, let spirit know when it's cool. Okay? But, you know, as a woman, all my ladies, whether you're a hoe, whether you're a woman, you are too valuable to be begging for some dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're doing everything and fulfilling the prerequisites, you know what I mean, that you're supposed to be fulfilling as a woman, when things are going to happen, it will happen on its time. But do not beg for the dick. It devalues you as a woman. Don't do that. I had a bitch. She used to just do that all the time. She just, you know, <laughs> you know, what's going on? <laughs> you know, I made, <laughs> I did cool. You know, I did better than yesterday. <laughs> you know, top of the morning. <laughs> bitch, that shit is lame. 
And then a lot of you, it ain't so much that you really want to have some participation in fornication. You really just got a spirit of competition with the other representation within the home. You're trying to make others put on that perfume called jealousy by provoking him to get inside your pussy. So you want to make somebody else feel like you're equal or ahead of her simply because you're getting, you know, as much time or more time than the other ones in the house. Sometimes it don't, you got to, you men, you got to look past your dick. When you got attractive women, everybody can't say that, but when you got attractive women, Okay, and you three deep, five deep, or you more than five deep, and you got attractive women that you wouldn't be ashamed with being seen in public with, you're going to have that spirit of competition. And it's good. It could be good. And at times, it could be very, just very bad. Just this immature. You would see the immaturity come out of these women. They could be over the age of 20 and 30 years old, but they act like two year olds, they little kids. You know what I mean? Why does Sam have such arrogance? Why did he talk to people? Because they are. They're kids. These bitches, in a lot of ways, they kids, man. they children. All right? Sam, they kids. Yes. I done had bitches get into fights. You know what I mean? She was, this bitch was using the same. When, when I used to live in the house with all my hoes all together, yes, stupid shit. Like, this bitch used my brush. This, I think this bitch is using my toothpaste. Stupid shit. Immature shit. I mean, one time I got kicked out of a hotel room. At that time, I was young and stupid. But I had all the hotel rooms that I had my bitches in. I had a, those rooms under my name. Dumb as hell. But I got these rooms under my name. And when these bitches got into a fight, guess who got kicked out? Along with the hoes. My dumb ass. Because I got all of the rooms in my name, and thank be to, thanks be to God that I didn't get more than that, but I got kicked out because of immorality, stupid, stupidity, jealousy. So women are always continuously competing against one another. So as far as, you know, that man, you know, uh, should you leave him just because you not, uh, because, you know, a lot of y'all say spending time, but a lot of y'all uh, say some shit like you, you couldn't say what you probably really wanted to say. He ain't dick me down yet. He ain't fucked the shit out of me yet. I ain't seen the dick yet. And then some of y'all, some of you, like I asked her a question. You see, I asked her a question. I never got a, a reply for it. I was waiting for it. I wanted to know, you know, how long have you been with him? Because you got women that think a guy should reside in a bad in her pussy, and the bitch only been with the nigga for two goddamn weeks. Nigga, only, uh, she only been there a month. And every nigga don't get out like that. So you need to sit up there, you know what I mean, and respect that man's program. You didn't say whether or not he was really pimping or not. And if that nigga is really pimping on you, if he's giving you some game, answer that question for me. Has he given you some information that is uncommon? To help you produce, you know what I mean, something that you wasn't producing prior to you getting this uncommon information from him. That's what I want to know. Because this is individuals in the game, they give you all the fornication you want. They just can't give you no uncommon information. They just can't give you no inspiration. They can't when you with a client and you know what I mean, you know this particular client got some money. And you don't know how to seduce and reduce his ass, so you call the pimpin' and ask him for some game. Yeah, it's some niggas right now. They can lick the shit out your pussy. They can fuck you until bad times become good. But they can't do what they should when a bitch asks a question pertaining to motherfucking communicating and manipulating his straight dog. And so now you done called him, and his tongue was good when it was inside your pussy. But now that you asking him, uh, uh, for an answer pertaining to the game, that same tongue that made you come and gave you that physical climax can't give you that mental climax simply because he don't have no game. So if he's pimping and he has not done anything contrary to basically the game, I'm not going to encourage you to leave him. I'm not going to encourage you, oh, man, you know, <laughs> jump up in my inbox <laughs> after the live. I don't I don't know whether whether or not he's peeing accordingly or not. And I'm not Harriet Tubman to pee. I'm not trying to save bitches away from pimping. 
So if that nigga pimping accordingly, bitch, get into a continuity of doing what the fuck you supposed to do, and when the game bless you with some motherfucking time, you will appreciate it because, bitch, you earned it. Now, I didn't sit up there, you understand me? I didn't step through the door with that. And as far as brother man, uh, uh, the talking about the spirit of tricking, hey, man, you can't get rid of the spirit of tricking. Yeah, you know, you can receive a trap from a bitch hand and she can put it in your hand. That's not going to change you as a man. You're going to continue to be the same type of man. You got the spirit of tricking within you, bro. You know what I mean? And um, only only God can deliver you from that. Only the most high can deliver you from that. There are certain peas that will try to uh, manipulate you into buying their book so they can sit up there and break on you. They want to deceive you into actually thinking that after you buy this book, you know, that you're going to be gamed up. You're going to be super pimpish. You're not going to be a trick no more. That's false. You have the spirit of tricking. Only the most high can deliver you from that. And even after he delivers you from that, you're not going to convert over to this pimp. You're incapable of being a pimp. Do you know how big my following would be if I was to come out with a book uh, encouraging tricks that they can get out of the spirit of tricking and come over here to this pimping? Man, I would be deceiving many, but I can't deceive you because I love you. And, you know, I refuse to sit up there and lie to you just to get some money out of you. No, I'm not going to do that. You know, so, you know, with that being uh, said, those that are bound by the spirit of tricking, only the most high can deliver you from that. Nobody's book, nobody's film, nobody's YouTube videos can deliver you from the spirit of tricking. And honestly, I don't want you to be delivered from the spirit of tricking because that's a good spirit to be in. <laughs> you know, why would you want to leave the spirit of tricking, baby? You know what I mean? One hand, wash the other. I never understood pimps talking down on tricks. I never understood that. I love tricks. Blessings to all the tricks. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a privilege to be a trick. Why? Because there are many that want to be a trick and want to do some tricking, but they're not in the financial position to basically be the tricks that they desire to be. You got some right now that's presiding over prostitutes and they saving up their distributes right now just so they can be the trick that they desire to be in the future. A lot of y'all so-called favorite pimps. These niggas is tricks. You know what I mean? Appreciate that, DJ, for coming in, man, with that 25, bro. You know what I mean? Some of you bitches is paying tricks right now. Hit that like button. We should have been over 200 people. We got 344 people. Up in here, get the like button, hit that like button and get it over 200. If you're not subscribed uh, to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. But let's get into it. What the pimping don't do? And I'm glad that the brother spoke on tricking because that's where I was going. You know what I mean? And shouts out to the young lady that gave the dollar. I hope that that blesses you as far as you leaving him if he's pimping. No, you shouldn't leave a pimp that's pimping. What I will say is uh, compatibility is a necessity for two people to get into a continuity of being with one another. However, you know, if you've been with a person for two seconds, you know, if you've been with a person for just the first round in a 12 round bout, you really can't complain about anything because in all honesty, you haven't done anything. And she didn't act. act. And let me tell you guys this. Before you give a woman an answer pertaining to the question, do some investigation about her situation before you sit up there and give an answer. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge the game. Acknowledge the knowledge and wisdom that God has blessed you with. Acknowledge the uh, knowledge and wisdom that this game has given you. Lean not to your intellect. You know what I mean? Before you sit up there and just give an answer from out of your ass or just out of your head, do some investigation about her situation before you give an answer that encourages her to go the wrong way, which is away from this pimping. We don't do that. Damn, I look good. Ever since I've been sitting up there eating this water and fruit, man, you know, my shit just glossy. But anyway, getting into it, right? Uh, I had a client, and this was on yesterday. And, uh, you know, in my consultations, I asked my clients, is it okay for me to share this, you know, experience. I'm not going to put your name out there. No, but you know, these particular experiences, you know, uh, need to be shared because a lot of you are doing this and you think, okay. And in all honesty, it's not, no, it's not okay. 
it's not it's not okay at all. So I asked, um, you know, one of my brothers, you know, what I mean, could I use this? And he said, yeah. He said, go ahead, Sam. So um, make a long story short. Um, basically, he ended up knocking this broad. You know what I mean? Uh, he knocked this broad, you know what I mean, off back page. But let me tell you how he knocked her. He knocked the bitch um, by sitting over there calling. I think they was in Orlando. He called uh, on back page. She was in Orlando. He called. And uh, no, no, it wasn't so much of Dirty Mackin, but he called and he acted like a trick. True story. He acted like a trick. He said, seeing, you know, um, I could tell that she was a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, green. Right. So because I thought that she was green, you know, uh, I ain't going to lie P. You know, I acted like a trick. I said, what else you do? He said, you know, I, I, I told her that, you know, she told me that, you know, it was two fifty for the hour. You know, what I mean, a hundred dollars for a half an hour. So, you know, what I mean, uh, you know, she was. She was doing them uh, in call. So, you know, I came over, you know, the main tour. And, uh, you know, when I had sat up there and met her, you know, everything was cool. I said, did you uh, did you fuck her? He said he said, yeah, he said, I ain't going to lie. I did. And, you know, I had I had fake I had counterfeit money. He said, so, you know, it wasn't it wasn't tricking because I had counterfeit money. Listen, follow me well. He said it wasn't tricking because I had counterfeit money. And so I gave her the counterfeit money and we and we fucked. You know what I mean? No, it was 250 baby for the hour. 250 for the hour. So he said, I give her the counterfeit money. And after the date, because he don't even know what he was playing, what he was doing. This has been done over and over again, right? So this was done before he even, he thought he was on some slick shit. This been being done by con artists. So I said, what happened after that? He said, uh, well, you know, I told her, man, you know what I mean? Like, man, you ain't got no game. You ain't got no game, man. You know, you, you going to fuck around and uh, you going to fuck around and, and sit up there and get killed like this. She said, she, she said, what you mean? He said, because I didn't gave you some counterfeit money and you didn't even know it was counterfeit. See, if you had game, you would have realized the counterfeit money the moment that you even touched it. So whoever you with right now, he's not gaming you up. You know what I mean? The game that you got right now, this is going to set you up to be giving away free pussy. You know what I mean? This is going to set you up to get killed. She said, this fake money? Yeah. Look, 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 at, look at these, look at the money, motion picture. So she began to uh, look, you know what I mean? And, and she was like, wow, and this goofy bitch, you know what I mean? Goofy bitch. The nigga sent me pictures of the bride. I can't even lie. I wish I could show them to you, but the bitch is very attractive, highly attractive. She like, she's my type. She's a redhead, nice little titties. You know what I mean? Five nine. You know what I mean? Nice little ass. Ass like Keisha from the projects. Cool little white bitch. From the South. You know, the South be having them buttermilk biscuit, you know, thigh ass bitches. So this is a, a fine ass white bitch. But she goofy. And she go for the okie doke. So he convinced her that the guy that she was with wasn't giving her any game. OK, so she ends up and plus let's just keep it real. She liked that dick, too. OK, let's just be real. Let's let's talk like they normally don't talk because a lot of them are afraid to talk for real. She liked the dick. OK, not only did she like his appearance, he's not a bad looking guy. Uh, she liked his appearance. She liked the dick. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? He related you into thinking that basically that. You being ignorant, which in a way is true, but look how he flipped it. You know what I mean? You you ignorant, and your ignorance can cost you your life. Your ignorance is going to cost you to be in jail. Your ignorance is going to cost you to get killed. 
So the bitch, she end up going with him and being with him. This nigga had this bitch. You know what I mean? And I was surprised it even went that long. But he ends up getting a nine-month run out of the bitch. You know what I mean? A whole nine-month run. Now, what I didn't tell you is when he drove to the date, he drove in his so-called pee partner's car. He didn't even have a car. But after he did this manipulation trick move and ended up having this bitch and getting a run out of her, that's how the nigga was sitting over there. You understand me? He got the es he got the Escalade out the bitch, and he got the little C-class Benz. I think he told me it was, don't, don't get me the line, uh, but I think he, it's a 2012 or 2013. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So he was getting his money out the bitch. You know what I mean? Follow me now. Now. Watch this. You know, now this, this was his thing. He said, yeah, P, you know, I had a quarter for the bitch. Because he come out hustling, you know. Like most, you know, no disrespect, most East Coast dudes, you know, they think they slick. Um, so he he sit up there and he say, you know, my quota for the bitch, you know what I mean? She couldn't, she couldn't come to me empty-handed. She couldn't come to me broke. You know what I mean? I wouldn't let her come in you know, and fu uh, 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 fuck on me or uh, talk to me or any of that shit until the bitch at least had, you know what I mean, two, two racks, you know, at the least 1,500, you know what I mean? But I, I took it up. I took it up. I took it up. I took it up with her. And I, we kept on climbing, you know what I mean? And he said things were so good that, you know what I mean, I, when I took her out to L.A., and I let her see basically Hollywood and all the celebrities and stuff. I seen how glossy her eyes got, you know, and I was teaching her money, you know what I mean? Because I was watching your videos and, and Dre's videos. And But see, he, he deviated from the teachings and I'm going to show you. He said, I'm looking at, you know, how everybody, you know what I mean, dressing and I'm showing her, look, look what he got. Look what he driving. Look where they living. This is what we supposed to do. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know, uh, we supposed to be driving this and bitch, you're not making enough money and this and this and that. Right. So he's glorifying, you know, uh, money, you know, to the bra. Hold on, baby. Let me tell this story. I'm going to get right back to you. You know, uh, he's glorifying, you know, money, you know what I mean? To the bitch. All right. So this bitch. Show you how the game work. Watch this now. The way you start, the way you end, baby. You come in tricking. You leave. Come on now. You knew this was coming. She ends up meeting this trick. You know what I mean? In L.A. Uh, she ended up, I think, you know, uh, uh, um, I forgot. Which. I want to say the Beverly Center, but I'm not sure. But I'm, think, I'm thinking. So basically, she meets this trick at the Beverly Center. And they chop it up, you know what I mean? They start liking on each other and everything like that, you know, because he ain't got no game. Listen to my language real good. You know what I mean? Notice that it ain't real pimpish or real horse. They start liking on each other, right? So, you know what I mean? That conversation wasn't too horse. And look what he's introducing to the bit. I get into all that. So they uh, exchange information and they talking and things like that. He talking about how he got a mansion in Hollywood. You know, he got all of this. He got two Bentleys and he getting a movie, getting ready to come out. And turns out that the guy is actually for real. This dude really got money. Okay, we back. We back at it. Come on, man. Let's get back up in here. You know what I mean? When, when it buffer like that, you got to tap out and you got to tap. You know what I mean? Back in. You guys the scene, man. I'm out here in this Toronto right now. And this is this, this, this a whole little snowstorm right now. You know what I mean? We was over 400. And now we back down to 212 people. So you, you guys get back up in here and, and tap back in. And anytime basically when uh, the buffering starts, you know, what you would do is you just tap out and you tap right back in. You know what I mean? Instantly, you know? But getting back you know to my uh to the story she ends up talking to him and this guy is for real he actually really has real money so because 
she, uh, uh, the dude, the, the trick wannabe pimp dude, was glorifying nothing but money to the bitch. What you think move she did? She instantly sat up there, you understand me, and, and got with the trick and left his ass for the trick. So basically, a trick got knocked by a trick in my eyes, but you know, um, sh she ended up basically being with him and she's in a relationship with the dude right now. You know what I mean? And he like, man, you know, how could she do this? You know what I mean? I got so many things, you know, going on. You know what I mean? The least she could have did, you know what I mean, was pay off my truck. You know what I mean? And man, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process, bro, you know what I mean, of, of trying to get rid of it because you know, I haven't been able to uh, knock anything solid so I could be able to pay my bills. You know what I mean? I'm pretty much going in between bitches right now. You know, so by me going in between bitches right now, man, I, I I don't know what to do. And I'm here to tell you is the way that you start is the way that you end. When you come in the door as a T, but try to leave out the door as a P, nigga, this is the best definition of backwards. We don't do that. People don't act like tricks. The spirit that a pimp is even possessed by don't even allow him to play like that. We don't even play like that. The pimp is not like a fucking trick. I can't say it enough. The pimp don't be calling the phones. See, out here, out in Canada, and y'all know what I'm talking about. They got something out here called Leo's List. And I'm talking to basically one of the broads now. You know, this is why I know this is a, you niggas is doing this, not just cross country. You niggas is doing this out of the country. Because even this bitch said that, yeah, you got a lot of guys out here. They be trying to act like tricks. So the same shit that niggas was doing on Backpage, they doing it on Leo's list out here in Canada. You know what I mean? Sad. But we don't do that. Pimps do not act like tricks. You heard the song what I played in the beginning, Born Again. Once your mind has been renewed and transformed and you have conformed to the rules and regulations of this game, your mind state is not the same. Your spirit is not the same. You are possessed by the spirit of pimping. You don't even play like a trick to no bitch over no phone that you endeavoring to have. Pimps don't do that. The, 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 the fact that you are even comfortable enough to look at an image on your phone. And after seeing this image, you said, ooh, let me sit up there and call her. I know what trick voice I'm going to use. You niggas be switching your voice up, sounding like a Mexican, sounding like a white man, just to convince this woman to come to you or get the address so you can come to her. And what I will want to say to you is, a lot of y'all, that's going to cost you your life. Because what you must understand is, everybody not playing. And then not only is everybody not playing, everybody not cut the same. You got, you got certain peas, you know what I mean, that's cooked on both sides. Hold on for a minute. You got certain peas that's cooked on both sides. And if they find out that you're trying to sit up there and fuck with their money, you're going to get canceled. I don't want you to lose your life trying to play like something that you really are. Because I want to tell you, if you can play, if you can flirt with the spirit of tricking, it's in you. Oh, yeah, it's the reason why I send you. Because I got to stay on this trick shit before I get to other shit. Because it's real deep. As a man thinking, so is he. If you play like a trick, think like a trick. As a man think it, so is he. You're governed by the spirit of trick. A lot of you don't even know you really a trick that's trying to conform to a lifestyle simply because you think it's easy. Some of you have been on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and because of social media and the buffoons that you see in the streets, you think that being a pimp is easy because you didn't seen a bunch of dumb motherfuckers on social media professing this pimp. You think that you're capable 
of being an authentic pimp in the game because you didn't seen a multitude of idiots on on uh, Instagram going live. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Pass me the dough, ho. That's all I know, though. Let your next move be your best move so everything can run real smooth. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm asking for it, though. I'm asking for it, though. Yeah, my check my Instagram, bitch. You know what I mean? I'm asking for it. You know what I mean? Unders I'm asking for an underscore, you know what I mean? Capitalized P around this bitch, bitch. I'm asking for it. And because you see these idiots that profess to be the pimping on social media, you think that you can be a pimp because you said to yourself, if this idiot, if this dumbass nigga, if this stupid ass nigga, if these stupid ass niggas can be that, why not me? If he can get this car, that house, he can get that chain, that ring out of it. Then just imagine what I can do. And then you have some of you just because you're handsome or you're an attractive guy that this lifestyle is for you simply because pretty much all your life, you know, women been flirting with you. Sex was about as easy as breathing the air of God. So because, you know, um, the pussy is known by you. You know the pussy. The pussy know you. You're not a stranger to the pussy. And you done set up there, you know what I mean, and charged a few bras. You done got a few tax refunds. You done got uh, some checks, a few nine to five checks. You think because of the charges that you got and the tax refunds that you got, you think that you qualified to be in the game. And I'm here to tell you that this devilation, this wrong interpretation, going to take you to the destination called incarceration for forever. Because when you participate in a lane that you ain't got no business endeavoring to obtain and maintain within, you're going to end up getting fucked up and fucked over. I'm just letting I'm just putting paint where it ain't and looking out for you, baby, because I want you to maintain your liberty and society. Hey, man, it's 240 likes. And it's 414 people watching. Get them likes over 300 right now. Hit that like button. Share this right now. This game needs to be heard. And I appreciate every donation and contribution. And I haven't forgot about the questions and statements that have been made. Just let me finish with this with the tricking. And I'm going to get to that. And then I'm going to get to the other sections of with my message. Um, but you can't be this pimping just because a bitch give you some money. And if you know that you've been tricking your life, if you know basically that you're one of those, you know what I mean? I love to see a woman shine and let me get another job that shine even more type of ass niggas. No, you're not qualified for this. That's not your life. Your heart, your heart ain't even in it. You trying to be a prostitute hustler. You know what I mean? You are, you are, I don't say ho because I don't like using that word fluently. But as they say in the street, you a whole lucky ass nigga. A hoe basically gave you a trap and you've been misled into thinking that you're something that you're not. You know what I mean? And I want to save you from being incarcerated. I want to save you from being fucked up. You a whole lucky ass nigga. A bitch basically thought you was this or because bitches be thinking that they could create pimps. She tried to make you into something that you're not even capable of being. You know what I mean? So let me save you from that. Stop. You're not this. You're not this pimping. But the pimping don't be getting on uh, websites, calling, acting like a trick. The pimping don't be driving up and down the motherfucking blade. You know what I mean? Uh, talking about how much or uh, get in, get in, get, get in. Deceive the bitch into thinking that you some tricking just to get inside your car and then drive her to a secluded area and then tell the bitch she out of pocket. No. And fucking around in that southern and northern Cali, you're going to get your dome split real quick because I told you everybody has not conformed to the mentality of a pimp in totality. You know what I mean? Seriously. Everybody ain't everybody ain't conformed all the way. And if that bitch that he's in love with, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. 
Hello? Hello? 180 Kevin uh, Mac the T with two D's and T's and Z's for a double dose or triple dose of this pimping? Yeah, uh, this nigga just sit up there and drove up on me, and he gonna sit up there and uh, say that he, he was uh, a trick. He had me think he was a trick. So I get inside the car, and when I got inside the car, he gonna drive to an area talking about, it's pimping, bitch. And I was like, wait a minute, what is you on? What is you doing, dude? And he was like, uh, you should have never got in the car with no nigga anyway. Your folks should have told you that, you know what I mean, you weren't supposed to get in the car with a nigga. You know I was a nigga, and plus I'm in a Cadillac, or I'm in a Benz, so because I'm in a lack of the Benz, and I'm a nigga, you out of pocket because you ain't had no business getting in the uh, lack or Benz with a nigga. You must be green as fuck. So I'm like, dude, what did you own? You told me that you was a trick, and that's the only reason why I got up in your car, dude. Let me out. Nigga on bloods. Nigga, I don't play this shit. You know what I mean? My nigga whoop your motherfucking ass, nigga. My uncles, they from Lutus Park. You know what I mean? They gonna sit up there and kill you, nigga. My mom, she from the mob, nigga. And my man, the dude that I'm paying right now, nigga, you understand? He gonna come in. That nigga is from Peru. Like where hold on, where all of this at? Where all of this is? I'm coming, I'm about to come through right now. Y'all already Paru. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what I mean? He, he about, he's not coming through asking no questions. He's not coming through asking no questions. He's gonna shoot everything. Paru. He, he coming, man, he's coming through. And he's about to handle business. He's about to shoot everything in sight. He's not sitting over there, oh, man, what's happening, P, man? What's, ain't going to be none of that. You know what I mean? He's coming through on the Paru, and you about to get dealt with. You about to get dealt with, boy, baby. So, you know, you can avoid all of that by not acting like a trick. Well, you could avoid all of that by not being yourself, because if you was the pimpin', you wouldn't even act like that. You know what I mean? It's really you. You know what I mean? It's not just on you. It's in you. You know what I mean? Because pimps, they don't even act like that. It's a spirit within a P that gives him common P sense and common P sense, which is not common, you know what I mean, to the common man. He would have basically behaved himself in an uncommon, you know, like. So, no, he would have never did that. He would have never sat up there and did, you know, uh, some shit like that. Not at all. So, move, move, moving on. You know what I mean? Another thing that pimping don't do. Pimping don't buy bitches. Mm -mm. Pimping don't buy bitches. Pimping does not buy bitches. I can't say it enough. The pimping does not buy bitches. Can I get you to say that? The pimp, everybody say that on one accord in your house or wherever you are. And if you at work and you can't say it out loud, say that in your spirit. The pimping does not buy bitches. And the message that I'm bringing, see, that's how I know is this going to be too long. But the pimping don't buy bitches. Seeing what you mean. Just because I got a good situation, I got four Rolls Royces, I got three helicopters, I got two mansions, I got five planets, the bitch still got to sit up there and earn to be in my presence. Because my presence is a present. And I won't be hesitant to ask for my feet. You niggas got it backwards. You think the more materialistic, the more money that you gain, the less your choosing fee go down, or once you establish that the choosing fee is vanished. No, little nigga. Once you get more established, that means that the choosing fee goes higher, not lower. And you niggas be sitting over there allowing bitches to get away with murder because let's just be real. A lot of you want to fuck. Can we just be 100? Can we, can we stop? Hold on. This the pimp. This, matter of fact, this is the game. This is what y'all be doing. You be hiding behind the game. But if we would move this out of the way, we can see that you just really want to fuck. But you trying to speak, you know, in the language of the game to deceive others in the game into not thinking that you're lustful. You know what I mean? You are a lustful ass nigga and you want to fuck. You want to have sex with this bitch. You want to be inside of this woman. You want to be in the fruits of her garden. You want to sit up there and participate and fornicate. You know what I mean? After, whether even after, even before she accumulate, you like her. 
You done looked at these Instagram pictures. You done looked at them Facebook pictures. You done looked at them Snapchat videos long enough. Now you ready to bend something over and get inside that motherfucker. I know what you want to do. But you got to... You got to talk like a pimp and talk pimp language and hide behind that. That's why I say the game is similar to religiosity because I know church folks that talk like church folk, but they don't want to do anything righteous. It's just that they have to use church language to basically represent the image that they've created. You know what I mean? So you have people within the pimp game who really want to fuck a bitch, fuck on a bitch. But they have to use the lingo or speak like the pimping. And he can't really just come out and say, man, my dick was on hard. This bitch fine as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? It ain't my fault. She should never put up that video that she put up. You know what I mean? On February the 11th, she was thick as hell. She was fine as a motherfucker. She bitch was dancing. I was like, bitch, hurry up. And the bitch said, well, I ain't got your feet yet. Bitch, fuck that. You the feet. Come through. And that's you niggas. But you have to try to give a philosophy to the pimping and deceive the pimping into thinking that you pretty much was taking away the fee because she basically didn't know the game like that. And, you know, uh, her circumstance, her situation. I couldn't. Ju- now, let me say this. And, and there are certain situations where. You know what I mean? You're not going to get no twenty and thirty thousand, fifty thousand, ten thousand, five thousand dollar choosing fee every time. I'm just waking you up to some game. Those who are actually really pimped. Because if and let me tell you this, if you're holeless and doless and carless right now, but you ain't hopeless because you got some pimping with you. But if you currently and temporarily are holeless and doless, carless, and a broad is endeavoring to get to you and she don't have a fee. But she got enough money or she don't got no money, but she got two ears to listen to some instructions so she can get to you to better your situation. So the pimp can get in position, knock another one and another one and another one and another one. So the pimp can campaign and endeavor to obtain on another level. By all means, P, let that bitch come to you. Don't sit up there and try to be all high and mighty and play yourself out, uh, out of uh, some action, you know, which is a transaction. Let that bitch uh, come to you. And once you get that bitch in your presence. Then you can pimp. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to pimps that's in position. So let me break things down because I know everybody got different comprehensions. I'm talking to individuals who are in position to pimp. I mean, tremendously pimp. Some of you are 10 and 20 deep right now, and you will be able to go to certain tracks and open it back up. I'm not going to mention one person's name, but at one time, they had over 20 hoes. Well, we stop. At one time, they had 20 prostitutes or over that. And they had some beautiful Caucasians and Asians. And if he would have used his power when he had it like that, when he was on that level, he could have been a blessing to the game. He was supposed to come to Southern California. He was supposed to come to certain areas, you know what I mean, within the states and set up shop. He was supposed to call other reputable and respectable pimps and say, listen, we about to come to this particular area and we about to open up this. And this is what we not going to do. We not going to allow no bitch to do anything under this price, that price, this, this. And the people could have came up on one accord and it would have been some cold pimping going on. But niggas don't think like that. It is what it is. Um, But just letting you niggas know, you know what I mean? We don't we don't do that. We don't buy bitches. We don't buy plane tickets. We don't sit up there and take money out of one hoe's ass to spend money on a ticket for a bitch that hasn't even endeavored to earn anything. Then you make not only yourself look bad, you make your women who are going out there each and every motherfucking night putting their life in danger and seducing and reducing strangers so your trap can be right top of the morning. You making them look bad. You got them looking like, you know, they paying Google the food. You sitting over there paying for bus tickets and plane tickets for a bitch that ain't gave you nothing. And then you want to get upset with the bitch and call her all type of faggots when she switched locations on your ass and go to a nigga that ain't got half of the shit that you got materialistic. 
but he got more characteristics and game than you. So the bitch sat up there and had a reunion with Western Union in honor of pimping with his car temporarily carless, holeless and doleless ass. But because he did something that you didn't do, pimped within the situation, charged the bitch for the situation. That's why he got the accumulation out the situation and you got nothing but conversation. And now you got to sit up there and give justification to your bitch or your bitches while you sit up there and got broke by a bitch like a bitch. It is what it is. But pimping don't make provisions for that to happen, baby. We don't do that. We don't do that. We not we not sitting over there doing. Hold on, man. You know we not doing. You know, and, and my mods. If you see anything funny, you know what I mean. Come on now. You know what I mean. You know my mods is like the uh, security for death row in the nineties. If you see anything funny or anything like that, you see. I ain't saying just anything. You know what I mean. But as far as you seeing anything from Keisha or any of them little marks and shit like that, delete. Uh, and don't even say her name. It's, it's cool. We moving on. Um, but we don't do that. We don't put ourselves in positions to look like tricks. We don't make provisions for our reputation to be evil spoken on. We don't make provisions for the game to look at us as tricks. We don't put ourselves in trickish situations, brother. We don't do that. You know what I mean? We do not do that. So that's something else that the pimping don't do. Pimpin' don't buy bitches. Let me also say this. Pimpin' don't sit up there and give some money to a pimp for a bitch. P, what you say? Yeah, this 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 has gone on and it's still going on. A pimp don't give money to another pimp to buy a bitch. We don't do that. Oh, man, how much you want for the bitch? Pimpin' don't do that. P, that don't go on. Yes, it do. All you got to do is go out in the streets. Yes, it do. If you pimp cross country, you won't be amazed or surprised with none of the shit that you see in here after a while. If you, if you got 10 years or more in this game, nothing surprises you anymore. Nothing. Um, but we don't buy bitches. We ain't buying plane tickets, bus tickets. We ain't paying for a bitch room. You know what I mean? And let me also say this too. The trick and spirit trying to creep in. We do not. Okay, let me say this to you. You're going to do whatever you want to do. But if this hoe, just like it's a bitch of mine that used to be with me, she know that in order to be with me, it's certain things she got to make right. She know that she got to bring more than just some money. Yeah. She know it's some loyalty that's got to be equivalent to the currency that she got to bring. She, she know she got to get charged. She know that. And eventually she going to come to her senses like she always do. She just got to maintain her mind. She obtain it every now and then, but she don't maintain it. You know, but if a bitch was with you and she depart from you and you allow that bitch to come back with no charge on her head, the pimpin' don't be doing that, man. Hey, the pimpin' don't be doing that, man. Hey, hey, I seen one nigga. I got so much love for him. A lot of you young niggas know who I'm talking about. I ain't speaking on young pimpin'. Uh, uh, I'm going to put it like this. Me and him ain't spoke in a minute. You know, I was pretty much kind of like an uncle to the nigga. You know, man, I got a lot of love for him. But he just do a lot of dumb ass shit, you know. And he's another nigga that think just because he look good and the bitches like him like that, you know, uh, hold on. There we go. Uh, he think because he look good that he's the pimpin. And I'm not going to say that he not, but he puts himself in situations that he don't have to put himself in. And he wouldn't be in the situation that he in right now if he had listened. I don't want you guys to be fucked up. You got people ridiculing me and criticizing me about shit from 08. <laughs> I ain't caught nothing like that since. And the only reason why I caught that was false identity, but making no excuses. You know what I mean? I don't want y'all to be in the same circumstances. So you got to be thinking at all times. And because this nigga don't listen, one time he sat up there 
First of all, he had already made me upset because he made a bitch his bottom bitch in a two week period because she fine. I ain't gonna lie, she a cute little bitch. You know what I mean? But if you didn't have pretty red bones and light skinned hoes, white hoes and shit, your whole motherfucking career is nothing. Especially if you're doing what I'm doing right now, you putting nothing but water and fruit in your body and you working out, none of these bitches is nothing as far as in that comparison. Because I'm so into myself right now, it's just hard for me to give a compliment to somebody else right now. I mean, I can, but I'm just really feeling Philip Brandon Gilmore right now. I'm feeling sinful to pee right now. You know, so when you, if you used to have an attractive women like that, it's nothing. But he made this light skinned bitch, and a lot of y'all know who I'm talking about. She famous on Instagram. The bitch is an airhead. She's not smart like that, but she's attractive. She got markability. This nigga, the bitch leaves him, and you know, they go back and forth. She's telling his business. He telling her business on social media. Weeks later, she come back without getting charged. Listen to what I just said. Weeks later, she comes back without being charged. Look at me. The pimping don't do that. Number one, you left. Number two, which is still tied to number one, you spoke on what's going on in our household on social media. And you allow the bitch to come back without getting charged? And you guys be wondering why these bitches don't see you as this pimping. I don't know why you have a hard time understanding why these bitches don't see you like that. Rightfully so, the bitch don't see you like that. Look at the things that you've done. Hell no, that bitch don't see you like that. Because in her mind, she can come whenever she want to. Do whatever she want to, and you're going to accept her, and you're going to be cool with it, and she ain't got to sit up there and get up no fee. She ain't got to be charged or none of that. The pimping don't do that, man. The pimping don't do that. We don't allow bitches to come to us with no fee. We don't allow the bitch to come back. And let me say this. Let me give you some game. If one of her problems big problems is being obedient and complying to you brother don't understand that if she come back with some money that she gonna repeat the same problem p what you mean by that giving me some money ain't good enough i need more than just some money from you you are disobedient you are rebellious i need more than just some currency from you you getting charged way more than just some money because you disobedient Cause let me tell you something. A woman who has been disobedient to you never chose you. A woman can give you all of the money. But if she never give you her in totality, then she never chose you. She can give you all the currency. But if she is not obedient in totality, then in all honesty, she never chose you. Giving money ain't good enough. Just because she put some money in your hand, look past that. That ain't shit. It's tricks living off the earnings of prostitution. Boyfriends live off the earnings of prostitution. Crips and bloods live off the earnings of prostitution. Hypocrites reap off the benefits of prostitution. That don't mean nothing. If she's not complying to what you're conveying and saying to her every motherfucking day, she has not chose you. She's given money to you, but she has not chose you. And that is dangerous to be around a woman who is constantly committing crimes, but she is not obedient to you. She can cause you to be in motherfucking prison for the rest of your life simply because she has not made you the head of her life by being obedient to you. That is very dangerous. To keep receiving money. I'm not knocking you. Because I don't know your financial situation. But I want, I want to sit up there. And, and, and help you be very mindful. That just because. A bitch is giving you some money. Just because she didn't gave you a watch. Or some watches. That don't mean that she won't snitch on you. 
that don't mean that she won't do the uh, Takashi snitch nine on you just because you didn't sit up there and uh, uh, gave you some money. Stop thinking things to switch a street, switch a uh, sweet out in these streets simply because this bitch didn't gave you some food to eat. She didn't did some harm. That don't mean nothing. It's bitches right now paying a man every goddamn day that they're not obedient to. They still have the spirit of a renegade. She's giving him every dollar that she made, but she still got the spirit of a renegade and a goofy that's not governed by the spirit of wisdom, he going to say, shit, <laughs> just get, well, go ahead and disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Be disobedient to me, shit. All I want is the money anyway. And because you can't see the reality of what I'm saying, you're going to end up being a correct in a correctional facility and suffer the consequences because you couldn't be obedient to what I'm saying right now. You need to pay attention. Because if she's not obedient to you, if she's not complying to you, y'all don't have no bond. Rules without relationship equal rebellion. Let me get that in your spirit. Rules without relationship equals rebellion. Some of you are collecting money from, you know, a woman or different women, but you don't got no bond with them. You don't, you don't have any type of covenant with it. You don't have no type of loyalty with these women. Y'all not like, y'all not like that. They not giving loyalty to the game within you. They not loving on the game that's within you. And that is very dangerous. Receiving money is not good enough. We got a lot of guys in jail and prison that receive millions of dollars from women that snitched on them. They got them millions of years in prison. That ain't shit. So don't be impressed with that. Rules without relationship equal rebellion. And when I say relationship, I ain't talking about no boyfriend and girlfriend shit either. Look up the word relationship. Some of y'all, by you listening to these rap songs and by these uh, BET images on social media and these niggas, they think they got this game and shit and they just talking out their ass. You know what I mean? Y'all got this shit backwards. Look up the word relationship. Look up the word rules. Look up the word rebellion. Rules without a relationship equals rebellion. People have a tendency to give loyalty to individuals who they have a bond with. You must create something that is bigger than money. Look at the situation that I told you with one of my clients. Because he didn't really have a bond with that bitch and the way you start, the way you end. And another reason is because they didn't have no bond. As soon as she came around a situation that was bigger than his, she left him. We don't glorify money to no bitch. We glorify the game. Because if we sit up there and glorify money to a bitch, you know what I mean? The teachings of the honorable and comparable Mel Taylor teaches. If we uh, glorify money above the game, then that means that any trick dope dealer can knock us for the bitch simply because we have glorified green papers with dead hypocrites to be above the knowledge and wisdom of this game. And pimps don't do that. That's something else that the pimping don't do. We don't do that. The pimping don't do that. No, we don't. Share this video. We should have been more 500 people by now. Get the likes up. It's 472 people. Let's hurry up and get the followers, the viewers above 500. Share this on Facebook. Share this on Snapchat. Get the moving. Work for this game. It's squares that need to hear this. It's motherfuckers that think they pimps, but really squares that need to hear this. It's motherfucking bitches that think they hoes, but really squares that need to hear this. It's some square that's thinking about becoming a pimp that need to hear this. Share this video right now. Be a blessing to this game. By all means, share this right now. But I got to, you know, give you this game because I love you. And I have to let you know what we don't do because it's so much that you guys are doing and you professing to be a pimp, but you're doing things that pimps don't do. And by the woman thinking that you're a pimp, she think that it's acceptable 
the, the things that you're doing, you know what I mean, simply because she thinks you're a pimp. What I tell you guys, whenever you have the wrong definition of something, you will have the wrong vision of everything pertaining to that something that you got the wrong definition of. So if a woman has the wrong definition of a pimp, she's going to have the wrong vision of what a pimp is too. So by her not being able to define it, she can't visualize it as well. So anybody and everybody with a thick tongue who dressed apart, they got a pimpish situation, good conversation, she going to buy into it and think that he's some respectable, reputable, impeccable representation of the game when really he's just a lame that has memorized, you know, words from people he was mesmerized by. So, you know, to protect yourself from situations like that, ladies, before you choose someone in the game, be able to define game first. Before you choose up with a so-called pimp, be able to define a pimp first because, you know, man, pimp mean put it in my pocket. Well, a bitch can put it in a trick's pocket. That, that definition has never been profound to me. That's never been flat. Me and Pippin mean put it in my pocket. No, it's, it's it's actually way more than that because a bitch can put it in a gay man's pocket. A bitch can put it in a snitch pocket. A bitch can put it in a bitch pocket. A bitch can put it in an animal's pocket, a child's pocket. That don't make, that's, that's nothing profound. You know what I mean? There's nothing profound about that. Stop saying that stupid shit. Man, you know what I mean? Man and Pimp mean put it in my pocket. Let the spirit of this game manifest knowledge and wisdom to you and give you a revelation. Stop repeating shit that you heard from other representations in the game that's repeating shit that they heard from other representation in the game. Have your own mind. Analyze the shit that's being said to you and you see whether or not if that's profound, if it's meaningful or not. If you guys are actually put the things that's being said on these platforms about the game, on the table, and really analyze it. Be like, man, I'm wasting my time listening to this guy. This nigga ain't saying shit. What the fuck is that? That ain't going to save nobody life. That ain't going to help nobody. Man, let me get the fuck on. But let me keep going. You know what I mean? It's like, man, with this shit, I could just stay here forever. But the pimpin don't do that. I'm just putting you on game, baby. The, tr the, the pimpin don't do that. Another thing. The pimpin do not bail another man's hoe out. See how I'm just, see how I can just walk in this spirit. See how the anointing of the game is on me. I wasn't even thinking about that, but the, the game just sits up there and just touch me. That wasn't even on my mind. But let me say that as well. Pimpin don't be bailing other niggas hoes out. A lot of you niggas is trying, but that's still tying to my man. We don't buy bitches. A lot of you niggas wait till a bitch is in a vulnerable position. Or a fucked up circumstance to try to advance with the bitch. You know what I mean? Oh, she a thief. Or she a good hoe. Let me pay for her bail. Let me get her out. Because surely if I pay for her bail, she going to come right to me. And if she don't, I'm going to get on some gangster shit. That ain't got nothing to do with no pimping. Pimps don't do that. Pimps don't even think like that. Pimps do not buy bitches. Okay? If Mr. Mac Lane got a bitch... You know what I mean? That's locked up. And Mr. Mac Lane got a bitch that make 15 and 20s and $40,000. She didn't hit $60,000 licks. She didn't got Frank Mueller's and all of that, right? And I come behind him and I find out his bitch government name. And because I got a bitch that's currently and temporarily locked up in a correctional facility with the bitch, I try to sit up there and send my bitch at the bitch and say, hey, man, you know, uh, Mac Lane ain't thinking about you right now. You know what I mean? He got you. Uh, he left you in here busted and disgusted. You know what I mean? A real P would leave you in this motherfucking circumstance. You know what I mean? A real motherfucking pimp ain't going to leave no hoe in jail, baby. You know what I mean? That's what bitches do. Bitches go to jail, pimp make bail. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, what you going to do? You going to continue to give a multitude to a nigga that ain't got a good attitude, you know what I'm saying, about your horn? Or you going to sit up there, you know what I mean, and sit up there and fuck with a real one that's ready to get a real one out of motherfucking jail get you out that correctional facility and get your liberty back in society, you know what I mean, and give you some good game to help you get some currency, because that bail ain't nothing to me, 
Yeah, baby, that's how we doing it over here. You know what I mean? I already got a hundred racks with this Bell's Bondsman. You know what I mean? Anytime I sit up there and call right now, I can call right now and get you up out of jail right now. All you gotta do is say the motherfucking word. Yeah, it used to hurt my heart. Yeah, it used to hurt my heart to sit sit up there and drive down the street. Or when I would have my drive and I was in the limo and I used to see you sitting over there paying and fucking with that nigga, man. You know what I mean? You know he ain't no pimp, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I really can't, I really can't call it, but you know, uh, 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 they, they say the nigga married. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say the nigga got three kids that you don't know about, but you know, I mean, you know, I ain't want to make it official, you know, but I heard it from some officials. They did say that, you know what I mean, the bitch that he had kids with, they ain't official. They not hoes, man. You know what I mean? And it's sad to see a real one in jail right now, you know, paying a husband and paying a nigga that don't even take care of his kids, baby. You know what I mean? The Temptations used to sing a song, baby, called, you know what I mean, How Could He? You know what I mean? How, 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 could, how could he do you like this, baby? It just hurt my pimp hard. And after he sit up there and put down this dirty macking that he doing, over this phone, like a lot of you idiots do, even though the shit say these calls are being monitored. You got niggas, they just they just pimping on the phone, you know what I mean? They just live with it. And after you do all of that, how you gonna feel when you get that bitch out of jail and that bitch get out of jail and she go right back to the nigga and set up there? Because you don't even know they circumstance. You don't know. You only know what the bitch tell you. See, but what you didn't know was that Pippin told the bitch to leave that situation alone. The bitch was on a date, you know what I'm saying, with another bitch that wasn't in his household. Yeah, she was on a date with a bitch, you know what I mean, that belonged to somebody else outside of the household. And, you know what I mean, she was texting the Pippin, and Pippin said, leave that situation alone because I, I see that kind of going left field. And, you know what I mean, if it go left field, you're going to end up, you know what I mean, being in jail for something that ain't got nothing to do with prostitution and solicitation. So, yeah, you need to get the fuck out that location and go buy my money. The, the, the night is still young, you know what I mean, and we can go get some funds, you know, somewhere else. You know what I mean? So shake the spot. Let that bitch, you know what I mean, do whatever she going to do. But as far as you, you know, move the fuck on. And how you know the bitch ain't sit up there and stay on this date with this renegade or this bitch that belongs to somebody else. And in the process of doing so, she ends up getting arrested with this bitch, you know what I mean, from trying to steal from this trick. And now they didn't call, you know, someone. Now they facing years. And the pimpin' was going to get the bitch out of jail. And he's still going to get the bitch out of jail. But he wanted to let me, uh, sit up there and make the bitch suffer. And play mind uh, tricks with, well, you know, pimp at the bitch mind to let her know the consequences of when you don't obey pimping. Because reality is, if the bitch had obeyed pimping, she wouldn't be in that circumstance that she in right now. But since you're not governed by the spirit of the game, the game can't minister to you because you're governed by the spirit of dirty macking and hustling. So you, you can't see the pimping. And you sit up there and pay the bitch bail. The bitch get out and go right back to the motherfucking pimping. And now you looking like the sucker poo butt ass nigga that set up there and paid for this bitch bill. You know what I mean? The bitch ain't gave you one motherfucking dollar. You been racks to get this bitch out of jail, and she not even thinking about choosing up with you. The pimpin' don't do that. Tricks do though. Con artists do though, but the pimpin' don't do that. Pimpin' don't be trying to buy bitches out of jail. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to become rescue Johnny and rescue the bitch, be Harriet the Tubman and shit. You know what I mean? The bitch didn't put herself in a fucked up circumstance and I got to put my cape on to come and save the bitch. Hold on, what R. Kelly said? Here I come, baby, to save you. These <laughs> niggas trying to save bitch. Hold on for a minute. Why is this nigga uh, texting me right now? These niggas trying to save the bitch. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, on that R. Kelly. Here I come, baby, to save you. Uh oh, he trying to save the bitch. You know what I mean? He trying to put his cape on and save her, P. You know what I mean? So, but the pimpin' don't do that. We don't wait till bitches get in jail and we trying to bail a bitch out and all of that shit. We don't do that. Um, uh, man, I could just keep going on in this. It's so many sections to sit up there and preach this game on. But you know, another thing, damn, damn. See how shit just keep popping up. Another thing. That you know, what I'm saying the pimping don't do. I gotta get this, get this to you, uh, as well. 
You know what I mean? Because uh, I, I didn't go all into it, and I don't want to leave no room for error. Thank you, game. P, what if she a square bitch? You got niggas that's going to use this. So, um, man, that ain't nothing but this game worker. What if she a square bitch? What if she never hold before? What if, what if she never did a date before? What if she a fresh turnout? Do I charge a fresh turnout? You know what I mean? A choosing fee? Do I sit up there, you know what I mean, and give the uh, fresh turnout bitch, you know what I mean, some requirements? Or, you know what I mean, do I pay for her ticket? You know, it got to be all right for me to pay for a ticket, you know what I mean, of a turnout because she a turnout bitch. Thank you, game. There ain't nothing but this game working right now. Um, Let me say this to you. You know what I mean? I got to answer everything. Um, If she's a turnout bitch and she's never done dates before, that's what she told you. Cause a lot of these bitches be acting green and they don't even be as green as these niggas be thinking. Um, I'm talking from experience. So one nigga, he didn't even know the bitch was a stripper, used to do dates in the club and some other shit. These bitches be having more game than these niggas. But um, let me say this to you. If she's a so-called turnout and she's a real turnout for real, for real, and she don't know nothing about the game, um, let me ask you this. Has she ever had a boyfriend before? You know what I mean? Has she, has she ever had a, a man before? I don't know why all these people texting me now. You know what I mean? Has she ever had a man before? Has she ever had a boot thing before? Because if she's ever had a boyfriend before, and I'm speaking from experience. That's why I can talk like this. That's why they get mad at me because I'm talking from experience. You know what I mean? I got, yeah, the bitches. The bitches confirmed this with me. I don't know about the mother guys, but I done did this with squares too. So I'm talking from experience. You niggas be trying to find justification to spend your money. If you, you don't got to find justification to spend your money, you want to spend your money, spend your money, little nigga. Get your trick on. I mean, get your, your so-called pimp on. Um, but if she's, a, if she's a square and she didn't had a boyfriend or somebody before, Damn, P, she can't call an ex-boyfriend or a motherfucker that like her to pay for her Greyhound ticket, to pay for her plane ticket? So you mean to tell me she don't got no square boyfriend that she used to have or nobody? She can't ask a family member, you know what I mean, to buy the damn ticket? Or, or you know what I mean, listen, listen, you guys know I use this all the time, and it works, baby. Hey, y'all know where I'm going already with this. If that bitch ain't got a boyfriend, an ex-husband, a n I'm just having issues because, you know, I'm in an abusive relationship and I'm endeavoring to escape. And I don't want to get him in trouble because I really love him and I really care about him a lot. And I don't want to see him locked up. So I'm not going to tell on him, but I, I just need to escape. You know what I mean? I, I, I just, I, I just, I just, I just need, I just need to escape. And, you know, I, I just want to get back to my grandmother. So I just, I just want to get back to my mother, you know, whichever one you want to use, but that grandmother. So I just want to get back to my grandmother. You know, my grandmother's a church woman and, you know, uh, she's going to make sure I get back to school and I'm not going to say anything on him because I don't want him to get in trouble, but, I just need to get out of this abusive relationship because and he probably oh my it's it's okay it's it's okay it's okay it's, it's okay I just I just need to get away and he going to get that bitch a free ticket I've never had I've never had one time where that shit didn't work <laughs> real talk I'm telling I'm I'm telling you from experience I've never had one time where I sent a bitch in a greyhound Telling them people that she's endeavoring to escape from an abusive relationship, especially if she's a white bitch. I hate to say it, but it's true. But especially if she's a white bitch, it's going to work every time. I've never sent any bitch of any color, but especially the white ones. How could you lose? And they come in there with them puppy dog faces and you know what I mean? And she trying to escape from an abusive relationship. What you think they going to tell her? What you think they're going to tell her? They're going to give that bitch a free ride. They're going to give that bitch a free ticket. Yeah, it froze on y'all end, but it didn't freeze on mine. That's what
at Falcons. You know, I know we went from, we was at 465, now we at 341. It'll come back up. I ain't worried. Um, but, you know, every time that I sit up there and sent, you know, a woman in there, I never had, they never denied. Never. I'm talking about, I done had bitches ride the fucking bus, you know what I'm saying, for whole days on a Greyhound. You know, to me. So, and, and, and I had to pimp, you know what I mean, like that because of the, in certain circumstances, I was in the rear. I was fucked up. I couldn't even buy no ticket even if I was like you niggas and wanted to because I didn't have it. So all I could do is allow the spirit of pimping to use me to allure the bitch and compel the bitch to come to me. And that's what happened. But, yeah, man, uh, hold on. There we go. You know what I mean? But, no, nah, man. You know, even if she's a square, it's still a way out. You know what I mean? You don't have to sit up there and put yourself in that position because even a square bitch can get in her emotions, you know, and say, now, I'm not saying for those that want to do it, you know, go ahead. But me, myself, no, I'm not going to do that. If she's even a square, I'm not going to buy a, a bus and a plane ticket uh, for her because she should have some boyfriend or some family member or, or somebody that she could borrow you know, sometimes them, them fucking Greyhound tickets be less than $100. So this speaks volumes about a person's character to me. So you mean to tell me that you've been on this earth for 18 years or more or 21 years or more and you don't know anybody who is willing to give you as of right now less than $100 for a bus ticket? And then if the bitch go on Priceline, she might even find a, a fucking plane ticket that's cheaper than the great what the Greyhound is charging. I'm talking from experience. That bitch will sit up there and hop her ass right on Priceline and they will give her a plane ticket that's cheaper than the fucking Greyhound ticket that's sometimes I've seen Greyhounds uh, charging more than what the plane was asking for, especially on Priceline. So when there's when there's game, there's a way. You know what I mean? When there's game, there's a way. Stop trying to instantly take money out your pocket. You ain't got to do that. Hold on, son. You know what I mean? The pimping don't do that. Now, another thing that's very trickish that you niggas be doing, you know, uh, the pimping don't do that. The tricks, they see images, and because of the images that they see, you know what I mean, uh, their education, it, it vanishes. Okay, their education vanish and the lust is established into their minds. Why? Because they're feeling the spirit of lust. And because of the power of the spirit of lust, it's a must that they spend every dollar that says in God will we trust on a bitch because of the spirit of lust that's being manifested. The pimping don't do that. We don't see pictures or images and we just got the pimping. We don't do. We see that she's attractive. We are attentive to her being attractive, but never to the point where you know uh, we because of the images that we've seen on social media, we're in an inbox or a DM, and we're incriminating ourselves within this DM or inbox because of the images that we see. If you haven't seen this bitch in a casino, a track, or anywhere in a host place, which is in a trick's face, fuck social media. Fuck social media. So what if she got 304 unknockable Sasha, uh, 304 unknockable uh, Tatiana, and all that old dumbass shit? If you ain't seen that bitch walking up and down avenues endeavoring to get, you know what I mean, some motherfucker, I mean, walking up and down avenues endeavoring to get, you know what I mean, some revenue for a pimp, social media. A lot of you niggas be believing social media. You believe in an image that you see. And I'm telling you that that's, that's the spirit of tricking as well. Because tricks go off of images. They do that. They look at pictures and ooh and ah and get comfortable saying anything and doing everything to impress this person who they're in, in, in lust towards an image. We don't do that. We don't get inside no inbox or no DM and just start saying a bunch of incriminating shit because she's attractive or she looks hoish. She appears to be a hoe. We don't do that. Pimps don't do that. That is very trickish 
of you. You don't know this bitch from the street. You've never met her, you know what I mean, uh, 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 on one blade. You know what I mean? You've never heard no pimp speak on her horn. She She's sitting over there counting money on social media. But no reputable, respectable pimp has ever had her. There's nobody to speak good on her horn. All you know her to do is count money, you know, on social media. But what I teach you niggas, if the pimpin' didn't count it, it don't count. You know what I mean? The, if the pimpin' don't, if the pimpin has not counted it, it didn't count. So it does not matter, you know, what the videos, the pictures show on Instagram. If she not sitting over there doing that on the blade, if you don't constantly see her getting in and out of the cars, if you don't see her walking in and out of them casinos, you know, holding a trick's arm or walking, you know what I mean, in a tr up to a trick's face, you know what I mean, physically in person, if you don't see her endeavoring to stay in pocket when other peas is getting at her, why are you giving this bitch a plethora, a whole buffet of it in her DM and in her, her, her inbox? The pimpin' don't do that. Well, P, I thought because of the pictures or I thought because of the videos, I thought, yeah, you just like the trick. You going off a of fucking image. Pimpin', we not going off of image. We not judging her off of pictures. Yes, she been with. Who she been with in the game? Because you got undercover cops that know how to make shit look real good. So we can't go off of images that we see. Pimpin' don't do that, man. We don't be going off of images. And let me also say this why it's on my mind. God damn it. Um, we don't send dick pictures. Let me say that to y'all. The Pimpin' does not send dick pictures to bitches. Oh, man. Shit, I'm about to. I don't know what CN talking about. Shit, I'm about to knock this bitch. Hold on. Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Yeah, 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 choose up, bitch. You know what I mean? Fuck with a real one. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's some big dick pipping going on around this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's a lot more of this shit going on, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck with a real one, though. You know what I mean? The mother niggas is little dick sipping. You know what I mean? But I'm big dick pipping over here. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? The pipping don't do that. The pipping don't send... Dick pictures to bitches? We don't, not to swears, not to hoes. We do not do that. You know what I mean? Oh, man. You know what I mean? Hold on. Maybe she need to see me with it. Oh, this look way more pimpish. Hold on. It's pimping, bitch. <laughs> the pimping don't do that. Hold on, hold on. Maybe she need to see me. Hold on, hold on. Let me... <laughs> What's happening, bitch? You know what I mean? What's happening, bitch? You know what I mean? Yeah, bitch, I'm going to put the pimpin' all in your face, though. You know what I mean? But, you know, the pimpin' don't send dick pictures. We don't, we, don't, we don't send dick pictures to bitches, man. And if you got to send a dick pic to a bitch to supposedly knock a bitch, son, something is wrong. We do not send dick pictures to bitches. We don't do that. Now, I understand that some of you are new to the game, so you still got a lot of that square shit on you. I understand you still got a lot of square ways about you. I ain't going to beat you up, send you to hell for that abominable shit that you're doing, but I'm going to let you know that that's some abominable shit. Yeah, we don't send dick pictures to bitches, man. We don't do that. and I. I I think you guys remember when I told you that I used to have a, a broad that I had got this one P uh, for, and shouts out to him. I'm glad to see that he's out of jail. God has uh, been merciful to him. But this one particular bitch that, you know, I ended up getting, she ended up basically coming into contact with some guy. He was from Dallas. He's a known pimp. Well, he's a known wannabe. <laughs> he got people deceived into thinking that he's a pimp in Texas. A lot of Texas niggas think that he's the pimp, but he's not. He's a full-fledged 100% trick. You know what I mean? So he sends a picture 
to the bitch, you know what I mean, of him holding his dick. And the bitch sit up there, oh my, this dude, he just keeps doing it. He just sent four pictures of his dick, and he's talking pimping. He didn't show me pictures of his bitches. Now, now, now watch this. Think about this. How the spirit of lust takes you from out your capacity of thinking. You can't even think correctly, logically, because there's nothing mentally going on. You're so caught up in the spirit of lust, consumed by the spirit of lust, you can't even manifest your intelligence. Because he was so wrapped up and tied up and entangled up in the spirit of lust that he didn't even say to himself, why would I send pictures of my bitches? Because if she don't choose and I didn't send a picture of my dick, now does she see my face? But now she can find out who my bitches are and, you know, potentially, you know, cause motherfucking shit discrepancy in my home. And I can get knocked for every motherfucking bitch that I'm presiding over with this bullshit. But he was so wrapped up and tied up in the spirit of lust, he couldn't even think that far. So he sends pictures of his bitches because he think because in his mind, he got a decent sized dick and his women look good. He thinking that he's about to get chose. So he sends, you know what I mean, pictures of his bitches, pictures of his dick. You know what I mean? To the bitch. And the bitch say, sin. you know, what, what What do you think I'm about to do? So I'm supposed to like put my life in danger and be with him because he got a dick? I said, hmm. And I'm thankful for knowing and having knowledge of the word of God because if I didn't have knowledge of the word of God. You know, honestly, I'm, and I know a lot of people don't like what I'm getting ready to say. But if my knowledge of spirituality wasn't the way it is, I would have never been able to instruct her the way that I instructed her. And he got broke the way that he got broke. OK, if my knowledge of God's word wasn't where it is, then I wouldn't even been able to give the bitch the information and get the accumulation from him. So I appreciate the knowledge of the word of God because I knew instantly I said, wait a minute, like, damn, you sent pictures of your bitches. You got your face in the picture. And then when she said the name, I pretty much, you know, I didn't know him. We have peed together. <laughs> Thank God. You know, but his name is known. You know what I mean? His name is known. So by his name being known, I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, like he wasn't even thinking about his situation. So I was like, damn, this would be a perfect time for me to come up with some game. Because as I began to think about what I was going to do, different scriptures about lust come to me. You know what I mean? The word of God began to come up with me like the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You know what I mean? The enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. How does he steal, kill, and destroy? By the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Those are his three dynamic weapons among his innumerable. Um, but once I started thinking about lust, I began to tell the bitch, I said, this is how we going to get him. I said, um, you need to tell him. That before you give your, uh, and I poke myself in the eye, hold on game, I'm still got it. But you about to tell him that before you choose up with anybody else, you about to sit up there right now and you about to give him, you know what I mean, basically information about your last situation, about how you gave loyalty to a man who wasn't loyal to you. And you can't allow yourself to get put in another situation like that. So, you know what I mean? What you're going to do is you're going to tell him that before you give a choosing fee or some loyalty, basically to somebody else, that what well, he's he's got to uh, learn about you is that you was with this guy for damn near pretty much two years and you didn't get nothing out of the situation and you refuse to do that now because you have a son. So before you give your loyalty to anybody else, 
the next individual that you give your loyalty to, he's got to manifest loyalty to you before you give your loyalty. Because you refuse to give your loyalty to somebody else that's going to shit on you again. So I told her that. I said, this is what you do. You tell him how he used you. The last guy used you. The last guy, you know, left you and your son. You know, and, and which this really wasn't a lie. You know, left you in a bad circumstance. And you wasn't able to take care of your son. If it had not been for your square friend, you wouldn't have been able to catch it. She told him that basically after the situation was over, she didn't have nothing to show for it. And he bit into it. He bit into it because he wanted this white bitch so much. And she sat up there and she said, um, you know, so I need for you, you know, to show me that you're loyal before I get loyalty because I've already proven, you know, my loyalty to the game. So if you can at least meet me halfway. I'm not going to be able to do it. This motherfucker say, you know, so what what necessities do you have? What utilities do you have? She told him her, her rent. She told him uh, the phone bill, which was my phone bill. She told him about her car note. And she told him about money that she was in need of. And like a perfectly good trick, he went and sent it. He sent it. He not only paid the rent. He not only paid the car note, he not only paid the phone uh, bill, I think he paid something else, but he sent her some money as well. And because he sent her the money, you already know because it was my instructions who broke on the bitch, who set up there young me and got a pimp's reward because the bitch was on one accord with my motherfucking instructions. But that would have never played out the way that it played out if I didn't have pain. Yeah, he played all into that. He sat up there and not only paid the car note, not only paid the rent, not only paid my phone bill, sent her money, which, you know, when he sent her money, that was my money. So thank you for the racks. Thank you for my phone bill being paid. And we kept on milking them. You know what I mean? We kept on milking them. I gave her game. You know what I mean? Had to sit up there and get some more money out of them. You know, I told her, you know what I mean? You know, some more necessities that need to be taken care of, you know, and what you, the bitch did. She did exactly that. And then when he felt like he didn't want to do it no more, you know what I mean? The bitch was threatening, you know what I mean? To tell his secret, start telling everybody that he was a trick. You know what I mean? The a bitch let him know, you know what I mean? That, you know, I still got all the confirmation of you sending money to me. You know what I mean? I don't think your hoes would like to know that. You know what I mean? And, you know, kept on getting them until basically, you know, you charged him until he couldn't be charged no more. And that's what happened in that situation. But he put himself in that situation, number one, you know what I mean? Because he's he sent a dick picture. Once he sent that dick picture, that's when I knew that he could be broke. You know what I mean? That's when I knew that he could be broke for everything that he had simply because he's operating in the spirit of lust. He's not operating in the spirit of pimping. <clears throat> He's not operating in the spirit of the person be thinking mentally when they obviously, you know what I mean, just sit up there and uh, manifested the spirit of lust by sending pictures of their bitches. So you sent this bitch pictures of your bitches too? Oh, yeah, you really operating in the spirit of lust. But I'm going to help you with that. And I did. You know what I mean? I did. Hold on. I did. No need to... Uh, speak on you know that or, or that no you know what i mean but i did and that's why he got broke the way that he got broke so to my young peas another thing that the pimping don't do we don't send dick pictures to bitches we don't we don't uh trade sexual pictures if a bitch sent a picture of her pussy or ass or titties and things like that you know to us you know we don't get excited we're not excited about that because a bitch is sending you an, innum an innumerable amount of pictures of her new body without sending you some money. We don't give a fuck about, you know, her beautiful titties, ass, you know, and face and shit like that. Bitch, none of this count if I can't count it. I give a less fuck about it. Matter of fact, if I can't count it, you actually ugly as hell. You look a goddamn fool. If I can't sit up there... And, and, and break your motherfucking ass 
for all of this motherfucking game that I'm uh, conveying within this conversation, then bitch, you ugly as hell. You look a goddamn fool to me. Bitch, say what the fuck you sitting there? Especially when you a strict pimp. You know, bitch, uh, pictures of her naked body. Uh, why you send me this? It'll fuck her head up. You'll be surprised how fucked up a bitch had to be off of the simplest shit. Because she didn't send pictures of her ass, titties, and naked pictures to so many guys. And when you sent it, when she sent it to you, you was like, what you send this for? What's this? You ain't get excited about that shit. And if you pimping, if you an actual real pimp, you around titties and ass and pussy all day whenever you want it. Whenever you want your dick sucked, whenever you want to fuck, you can fuck whenever you want to. You get your dick sucked whenever you want to. Sex doesn't impress you. That's not, that's amazing to the little guys. That's not amazing to me that you look good. <laughs> like, bitch, don't you see that I'm a beautiful pimp? <laughs> I'm a beautiful pimp, but I'm amazed by you being a, a beautiful stripper, being a, a beautiful stripper or a beautiful square and shit like that. I do love it if you're a beautiful hoe, but, you know, you're a beautiful hoe. You're not equivalent to a beautiful pimp. You know what I mean? So, no, I'm not going to be amazed with that shit, bitch. Put your clothes back on and don't send that foolishness to my phone no more. So, the pimping don't do that, okay? Pimping don't be sitting over there sending dick pictures. The pimpin don't be going back and forth, trading pictures with bitches, naked pictures with them. You know what I mean? The pimpin don't be doing that. You know what I mean? The pimpin don't do that. Another thing uh, that you got, I shouldn't have to say it, but a lot of you niggas don't have common peace sense or common sense either. You know? But another thing that the, the pimpin don't do, when you having sex with your hoe, you know what I mean? When you do, I can't control what you do in your bedroom, but it'd be wise for you not to allow a bitch to record you. If it's going to be some recording going on, it's the pimping recording. No, bitch. Because what happens if you and this bitch get into a discrepancy and she get into a continuity of basically getting into some evangelism with the criticism name and talking to everybody in the game about all of the uh, motherfucking fun festivities that y'all had in the bedroom? So now, Pimpin ain't allowing no hoe, uh, you know what I mean, to sit up there and record anything. If it's going to be some recording going on, it's because the Pimpin record. You know what I mean? Because uh, when the bitch leave, she still got the video, and now she posted it on Facebook. Now, you know what I mean, she got you on Patreon. Now, the bitch got you on Instagram. Now, the bitch got you on Snapchat. And bitches is like, damn, damn. He just eating all her ass and shit. God damn. She just sitting on Pimpin's face. Pimpin don't even put himself, you know what I mean, in situations like that. Pimpin don't be allowing no bitch to record shit, you know what I mean, while we having sex. While that bitch sucking my dick or when she bent the fuck over or she taking this dick or she got her legs above her motherfucking head and shit like that, she ain't recording a goddamn thing. Why? Because the Pimpin never make provisions for his reputation to be evil spoken of. So that means I'm not going to allow this bitch to record us having sex because the only videos that we record is going to be by me. You know what I mean? Because I got, man, I got videos. <laughs> I got videos. Of, uh, of, I can't say all my, my whole, because, man, I done lost so many videos. But I got quite a few videos, you know what I mean, of uh, recent and former hoes. Yeah. But they mine, though. I got all the copyrights. <laughs> Ain't there bitch got the masters, the copyrights, the publishing, you know what I mean, to none of the videos. Bitch, this is mine. You know what I mean? Pimp and keep, you know what I mean, all of If you don't think, if you don't know how to use their right there, please don't think I'll speak. Doing some more studying and stuff. I don't know where she's at with it. But, you know, uh, we don't do that. There we go. We don't do that. We're not allowing no bitch to sit up there and record nothing. So don't ever, as a, as a P, don't ever put yourself in a position like that. Young P's, we don't get into the inbox and the DM saying sexual things. Okay? Let me, let me give you some game. If you are speaking to a woman and you could tell that she's very lustful towards you, 
okay? You could tell that she's highly attracted to you. You could tell that the pussy is wet. You know what I mean? You could tell that if you take the guy right now, she going to suck it and she going to lick, you know what I mean, you to every drop. You know that. Um, but the thing is, I'm not going to lie and say that pimps ain't never played on a woman's lust. And what I mean by that is flirt with the bitch. You know what I mean? Say something to give her that mental climax. You know what I mean? Uh, but not, not entertain it. You know what I mean? We we sitting over there. I'm uh, sitting over there. You know what I mean? Eating you and you sucking my dick and you know no, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. You know now I've told you in my early days when I first started I'm guilty of chipping. I did some chipping. A lot of peas ain't gonna admit that to you because they have an image to protect. Yes, I done done some chipping. You know what I mean? I was a chipper. You know what I mean? I done did some chipping before, so I don't want you to think, man, see, sin, he flopped. No. Sin did some chipping in the beginning. And for those of you who don't know what chipping is, um, when you meet a woman who's not your hoe, you know what I mean? Uh, she ain't even in the game, you know, and you uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically go there before the currency is there. That's chipping. You know what I mean? And yes, in the beginning, when my knowledge wasn't equivalent to what it is now, you know what I mean? Yes, I've done some chipping, you know what I mean, when I uh, first started, you know, in the game. Yes. The masterpiece, mouthpiece, verbally, intellectually, just in totality, wasn't what he is today. And um, a lot of broads uh, that I knocked in my early days, I told you guys, I used to be in the OPM and I go to the DTC, I go to the uh, the airport, you know what I mean? I would meet, you know, beautiful squares, you know, and um, get into a little something. I'm not even going to lie to you. Fuck the hell out of them. And um, everybody didn't turn, but I would be a liar if I didn't tell you that most did, you know what I mean? And yes, you know, I was a chipper. But once I converted and conformed, you know, all the way and accepted this game and conformed to the mentality of a pimp all the way and really got serious with this shit, it was no more chipping. Even though I'm a man and I can do whatever the fuck I want to do when I want to do it, and a woman can't define me, she can only agree with what the fuck I want to do as a man, but because I'm a man that's serious about my pee, ain't no chipping. Ain't no chipping, and it ain't because of just because they be bringing up the money. No, 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 no. It's who I am as man, what I represent, which is this game, which is more important than the money because I'm not a prostitute. So it ain't, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, pimp got to get paid, man, before he get like, we don't, I don't even talk like that. So if I had sex with her or got my dick sucked by her, did anything sexual with her, it's because I wanted to do it, okay? Number one, okay? Y'all need to stop trying to use money as an excuse to do what you want to do or, you know what I mean, I, I, I got 5,000 before I even touched the pussy. Woo, 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 woo. I got 15,000 before I even went in. So basically you bragging about having a five and $15,000 date with a thief or, or or this bona fide hoe. Nigga, that ain't nothing to... You know, be uh, uh, congratulated about. You know what I mean? And I just want to tell you that keeping that thing all the way uh, 100 with you, if you only have sex with a woman because she gave you some money, then yes, you would be a prostitute. Because when a pimp basically is having sex with his woman or his women, you know what I mean? Uh, it's because he wanted to be inside of his woman or, you know, some more uh, another woman within, you know, his group of women. It's because that's what he wanted to do as a man. Now, I will say if she hasn't gotten into a con if she hasn't gotten into a continuity of giving him loyalty and currency, then no, he's not going to get into a continuity of residing and abiding in that pussy either. You know, so I'm not going to act like the financial Ain't a part of the prerequisite, but they promote it as if it's the number one or the biggest of them all when it's actually not. It's the game. 
and the finance, that's a requirement of the fulfilling of the game. We always glorify this game. Now, moving on, because it's so much. Uh, the, she said, let me say this before I move on, because like I told you, I could talk forever about this particular subject. But she said for the uh, girl that was in here, she said that, you know, I didn't want to interrupt you. I'm just soaking it all up. And she said she had only been with him for three months for 90 days. And if you've been with this man for 90 days and he haven't done anything that was contrary to what's right, you know, has he given you, before I go on to my next subject, has he given you some uncommon information? Did he teach you that you didn't know? Has he elevated your life? Has he put you in position to have more in life? Has he given you some knowledge that can empower you for the rest of your life? Because reality is you can only sell pussy for only so long, but you can sell game for the rest of your life. So if he's giving you some game, he's giving you way more than any physical climax that any good dick or good tongue could ever give you. So if he has not done anything contrary to the rules and regulations of the game, I wouldn't encourage you to leave that man because he's pimping. And three months, is that's not years. You know, three months, baby, that's three seconds. But, you know, because of this era that we're in and loyalty, it's a famine for a woman that's loyal in the game. You know, three months today is being looked upon as three years because, you know, what I mean, the loyalty is decreasing. And the disloyalty is increasing. So by the disloyalty increasing, and women basically have got a spirit of comfortability into basically being disloyal, you know, uh, guys basically be appreciating six months, like 10 years now. And in reality, especially back in, in, in the ancient times, in the Gene Morgan days, in the original John days, in the, uh, the original uh, Mel Salisbury days, in the original Mel Taylor days, in the uh, Pepe Le Pew days, in the motherfucking, you know, even Shantae Parker days, you know what I mean? In these particular days, man, like, no. In the Joe Cato days, what the fuck was six months? You had niggas in Rosebud's day that basically had they bitches from the beginning of the game from the end of their career. So they would laugh at anybody bringing up six. What the fuck is six months? Bitch, you ain't done nothing. If we looking at six months like that, you already know how the Giants is looking at three months. So if he hasn't done anything that is contrary to the rules and regulations of the game, and the only thing that you can think of is him not giving you some dick, because that's really what you're saying. You know what I mean? If the only thing you could think of is he haven't blessed you yet with some dick, no, I wouldn't encourage you to leave that man. Because it sounds like he over there doing some pimping. Sounds like he's sitting over there instructing you and building you up. And he didn't went 90 days without sitting over there being in that goddamn pussy of yours. And he know it's good than the motherfucker. But the, by the pimping being so much greater and by his anticipation of what he's endeavoring to do in the future being greater than a temporary climax... That's why he sit up there and keep abstaining and refraining from sitting over there residing and abiding within your good ass pussy, bitch. So you didn't tell me nothing that was contrary to this game that he was doing. You just said you've been with him for three months. He didn't spend. He ain't spending enough time. And you know what I mean? And you on some. All I really want to know. All I really want to know. Can we get it together? You on that. Get it together. Hold on. All I really want to know why he don't touch his hoe. <laughs> Can we get it together? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you on that with him. You know what I mean? This don't sound too pimpish and hoish. You on that with him. You want him to, every time I close my eyes, you want him to get on that with you. When he not, he not on that. You know, he on Trey songs, you know, uh, but I got to go right now. He on that. He, he want to go right now. He ain't trying to, you know, I got to leave. You know what I mean? I know it's good. 
you know what I mean? But hold on, take some more game. There you go. Then go back and go bring me some more G-A-I-N for the G-A-M-E I gave you. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all remember that. Yeah, you be my song. You know, R. Kelly influenced. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Hold on, hang on. I'll get to that later, man. But let, let me say this to you guys. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to remove anybody's comments. But by the game being more valuable than whatever square shit that you got going on, you know, uh, I don't mind, and especially to my fellas, campaign, endeavor to obtain. You know, is anyone able to donate to soup? Because it's not allowing me to, to, uh, to tip you, Sin. Hold on. Now, you ain't got to say tip, baby. It's just donation. But I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you one better. Hold on for a minute. I, since you wanted to sit up there and do that, I'm going to see. Hold on. Which I believe you because, shit, you done already gave me $2. Hold on. Let me do this for you then. <clears throat> for those of you that want to donate and for whatever reason YouTube is not allowing you, all you got to do is go to my website. My website allows you to donate whatever you want to donate. Also, for my ladies that want to speak to privately, away from everybody, you can go to my website and set up a, cons uh, a consultation. You don't have to talk to me in front of people. Mm -mm. You ain't got to do that. You can speak to me privately whenever you want for a small price of $200 an hour, baby. You know what I mean? You can do that right now. Let me put my website in here. Hold on. Let me put my... I don't know why I don't have 400 likes by now. I don't know why we're not over uh, 400 likes. Let me type this in there. When you go to my website, there is a donate button. At the bottom, you can make whatever you want. Hold on. Go my website right there. Hold on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this for you. And I'm going to give you the link. Not just for you, but for anybody else. Because, I I mean, God damn, man. I, I, the, the shit that I said, you know. I really hope somebody applied. Oh, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. It's just like when women be coming in the comment section talking about, What's going on, P? Hold on, bitch. <laughs> But, uh, hold on. There we go. <clears throat> Let me see something. Hold on. See that? www.sinfultheep.net. And see that consultation button right there? Anybody that desire to speak to me alone... You know what I mean? To get some game privately. You know what I mean? We could do that right there. And we could do that donate. You don't have to set up a consultation to give a donation. You can donate whatever you desire to donate. And I'm going to give you the link to that. Give me a second. But it's just simply www.sinfultheep.net. Hit the consultation or the, des uh, uh, the donation button. No, not sinfultheep.net. It's www. S I N F U L T P T dot net. And while we in here, hold on, let me see if y'all done this because we'll be to a thousand at least by tomorrow. Hold on. What I want everybody to do is you got love for my Instagram page. Hold on. I want you to come here. S I N F U L T H E P. They took away my uh, old IG uh, page, so I had to make a new one. So this is my new uh, Instagram 
right now. S I N F U L T H E P. They took away the old one. They hate it. You know, after Kevin Gates, as some of y'all know, I wouldn't even know Kevin Gates had posted my video on his page if it wasn't for you guys. But because of the haters, they own their job. Blessings to my haters. God bless my haters. But, uh, you know, because of the haters, they couldn't stand me. You know, uh, Bishop Don Magic Juan had just posted my shit. Then Kevin Gates had posted my shit. Other P's started posting my shit. Other rappers, Rico Reckless been posting my shit. Whoop been posting my shit. Lil Dirk was talking about my shit in a damn, uh, his little Instagram live. The Chicago rappers, that ain't nothing because the little bros from the, from the go been on about my shit. Um, but come to this uh, page right now. By this time tomorrow, that 467 should touch a thousand. Let's hurry up and go to Instagram and get that to a thousand. S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P and follow me. Because you know I done already set up a channel. Hold on, let me do this. Because this is what we endeavoring to build. We want to endeavor to build this. We want to get this channel and this channel looking like this channel. We 40,000 deep over there. We need to get all of the channels, you know what I mean, looking like that. All of them. You know what I mean? Hold on. So, we need to sit up there. Hold on. For y'all. Yeah, we got to get them all on the same. That's in case if one channel go down, we got other channels that's on the same level. And as you can see, this channel right here is only 6,000 deep. Man, I had over, I had damn near before uh, the buffering and all of that shit. You know I me. Mean? Hold on. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you how this Toronto looking right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's how this downtown Toronto right now is looking. It's looking better because it was, boy, it was snowing so cold earlier. You know what I mean? But now this is how it's looking right now. This is how downtown Toronto is looking right now. Matter of fact, let me, let me zoom in so you can see that snow. You know what I mean? That's how it's looking right now. You know? That's how it's looking. Snowed in. You know, for real, for real. <laughs> the real definition of snowed in. So ladies, if you want to speak to me, this would be a perfect time to speak to me because right now I'm out of the country and I'm just building my channels and, you know, presiding over my women, you know, my, my students in the States and my two here. Hold on. And shout out, you know what I mean, uh, Kevin Gage. So like I said, this might just be part one. And what I do is I just hit you with another one, a part two, because I got to give you what the pimping don't do. Then I got to give you what the pimping do. You know what I mean? But, oh, man, thank you, gang. Listen, the pimping don't wear fake jewelry. You know, the pimping don't wear fake jewelry. All right. And I know it's freezing up on some of y'all sides right now because <clears throat> I see the numbers dropping. But it'll come back up because I know it's buffering right now. But the pimping don't wear fake jewelry. Hold on. Let me scoot up for this. Hold on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, let me talk a little bit. The pimping don't wear fake jewelry. Mm-mm. If you're going to you call yourself wearing jewelry, make sure that it's real. I'd rather for you to be wearing... A $5,000, you know, Rolex watch, you know, which in the game would be considered, you know, cheap, similar, versus front like you got on a $100,000 watch, and it's fake. Pimps do not wear fake jewelry, okay? And I don't say anything because that's, you know, I mean, hey. If a bitch basically choosing a nigga because of his situation, I could care less what the end destination is because you were supposed to be choosing for uncommon information. And by you choosing up because of a situation looking good, 
that's why you didn't look like you should in the game because you went after the situation instead of the information. And I don't, I don't, you know, it is what it is. But Pimpin no will fake jewelry. Mm-mm. The pimpin' don't the pimpin' don't wear fake jewelry. The pimpin' don't wear fake chains. The pimpin' don't wear fake rings. Uh uh. You got guys, they wearing Chinese food jewelry. You could just tell they 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 uh sit up there and bought some egg foo young, some Chinese chicken wings, uh two large uh chicken fried rice, and got some jewelry to go along with it. Getting on Instagram or Facebook. Or YouTube, and they just talking like they just pimping, and y'all just letting them get away with it. But no, you know, pimping do not wear Chinese food jewelry. Stop that. I don't know, like, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I didn't even listen to a nigga tell me about being real, and this nigga got on Frost and Flake Chinese food jewelry. I just can't do it. I just, I can't. I can't. Why can't you just take that shit off and let the real jury from out your mind manifest? Take the real jury out your mind. But you got on three Chinese food rings. Then you got on two rings that come from Odyssey Fun World. One ring from Dave and Buster's. Another ring from Hollywood Park. Another ring from Chuck E. Cheese. Another ring from the motherfucking arcade outside of Walmart, and you just like, no. Pimps do not wear fake jewelry. Until you step your game up and you can buy some real jewelry, don't buy, don't fuck with no fake jewelry. Pimps don't do that. They go, there you go. They go miss this, they go miss thighs right there. They go. What's going on, baby? Ain't seen that pretty face in a little bit, but thank you for the 20. You know what I mean? Make sure that you go to my new Instagram that I created. I got a new Instagram, S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P, baby, because, you know, they hate it on this pimp. You know what I mean? So, yeah, make sure you uh, bring your little pretty ass, you know what I mean, to Instagram and go ahead and follow me, S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P. And for those of you, Tony just put my link to my website. Yeah. Matter of fact, Tone, do me another favor. And if you can, because I was going to do it. But if you can, Tone, or if you can't, I'll get it. But get the link from my PayPal and put that up in there, too. But that link that Tony putting up in there right now, that's to my website. If whatever you want to donate, you can donate there. Whole bunch of ones be the whole bunch of nuns any day. So, you know what I mean? Uh, if you might got five, 10, 20, 100, 500, or maybe if you're really pimping, you know what I mean? You want to be a blessing to the pimping, you know what I mean? You might want to, you know, send a rat to a pimp. I don't know, man. Whatever the game, however the game want to use you, man. I'm not going to fight you, man. I'm not going to fight the pimping being a blessing to this pimping, man. You know, bless us to Chicago. Everybody that's from the shadows up in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's. She west side. I'm soft side. She west side, but it's all right. Why? Because we all Chicago. We all Chicago. You know what I mean? But blessings to the Bay. Blessing to Frisco. You know what I mean? But nigga, uh, I'm going to say this to you, you know, before I go to the next thing. We don't wear no fake. And if you was to come around, the shit that these niggas get away with on Instagram and Facebook, they can't get away with that shit in a circle of real peas. If they came up in a circle of real peas with this motherfucking hoi toy, kufanu Chinese food jewelry that they be having on, and initiated a conversation among reputable and respectable pimps, my nigga, you about to see one of the coldest roastings go down. Because one of the OGPs, one of the veteran pimps going to ask, how you representing the real with the fake, baby? You know what I mean? How you manifesting this real and you got and, and you making mistakes by wearing frosted flake jewelry? How you doing that? How you sitting over there with Odyssey Fun World Dave and Buster rings on, my brother? 
We don't wear that. We give that to the little kid. It look like you, you know, I didn't even know McDonald's even gave those type of toys away. You know, McDonald's used to give better Happy Meal toys away in the 90s. Look like they stepping their game back up. You know what I mean? With that shit they gave you, goddamn. Man, you about to see some of the coldest roasting going on, going on. But, you know, fake jewelry? No. Uh-uh. Pimps don't do that. I just had to let you know, man. Pimps don't do that. Pimps don't do that. And another thing, Pimps don't do, even though I spoke on it, you know, I just want to make sure I cover this trick shit real good. I already know when I end. don't have the mentality of as long as I got more money, I spent then it's still pimping. We don't think like that. Pimps have never thought like that. Pimps don't think like that. Yeah, you know, even though I bought the bitch an apartment, you know, she put me in a house. So you you put the bitch in an apartment before she gave you a dollar? Yeah, I put it in the bitch name and I said, you know what I mean, baby? You know, it's against the world. It's me and you against the world. I mean, pimping don't do that, man. Pimmy don't have a mentality of I could spend as much as I want on the bitch as long as I get more out the bitch than what I spent on the bitch before she give me any money. We don't think like that. Pimmy don't do that. You know what I mean? Pimmy don't do that, man. And uh, even though this should be obvious, but the Pimmy don't sell drugs. Yeah. So, baby, if your man mixing it to fix it, that's num number one disrespectful to the game. That's disrespectful to your uh, so-called home. And it's just disrespectful. Pimps do not sell drugs. Pimps do not uh, mix it to fix it. If we not getting it in one lane, you know what I mean? Pimps don't be sitting over there and say, damn, you know what I mean? Well, let me let me go ahead and pick up the sack. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and start selling this. You know what I mean? Because the pimping ain't working out for me. Pimping don't think like that. The pimp don't sell drugs. We do not sell no drugs. Another thing, if the pimping ain't on parole, if the pimping ain't no, if the pimping ain't no on probation, the pimping ain't working no motherfucking job. No, nah, the pimping ain't working no damn job. You ain't gonna see the pimping at church's chicken taking your motherfucking orders. You know what I mean? You gonna see the pimping maybe at church's chicken giving orders, but you never gonna see the pimping behind the counter, an active pimp. That's not on probation, not on parole, and he just free will at Church's Chicken, at McDonald's, at Burger King, at Walmart, and you know. And let me let me also say this, ladies. Another way that you tell that a guy is not a pimp, if he's emotional, wishy-washy, and weak, like a bitch, he's not the pimping. If one second he's acting like you know what I mean? He's the best thing that ever happened to the game. And then when the circumstance that's not his way, you know what I mean, comes. And now he's ready to sit up there and take off his dress shoes and put on some high heels and put on some hoe heels, put on the hoe shoes. He's not the pimp. If every two seconds, every time a Eurocalodon happened, every time a situation happened, every time a tribulation happened, now all of a sudden, you know, he got a girlfriend. Now, all of a sudden, he back at his mama's house. Now, all of a sudden, he got a job. He's not the pimping, ladies. He's not. And I shouldn't have to say regular ass shit like this, but it's a lot of regular ass shit going on that I think that everybody should know, but they don't. You know what I mean? Hold on. There we go. They don't, though. And that's sad. That's real sad. You know what I mean? And like I told you guys, when I'm preaching and teaching this game, you know what I mean? Fellas, make sure you campaign indirectly, but directly speak to the broad, exchange information. And if the conversation was going too good, get the bitch out of here. You know what I mean? Y'all sit up there and direct that shit to Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever. Get on the phone, but don't ever have a conversation that's in my in, uh, in my comment section, I'm preaching and teaching this game. And you talking about Pluto and Mars and all of that old goofy shit because I don't want to block you. But at the same time, I'm not going to allow you to uh, be used by the enemy to try to block this game. Because you can't block this game and you won't. Let me see. There you go. <clears throat> no, no disrespect. I won't uh, 
I'm speaking on, you know, uh, what the spirit of the game give me to speak on. But I will say that uh, as far as <clears throat> a sex trafficker and all of that, human trafficking, in spite of what these idiots that you've been seeing with no teeth, the guys who say that a pimp and a human trafficker, because I've seen one guy over 40 years old that's like a little uh, brother, backslidden, rebellious son, say that you know human trafficking and a pimp is the same thing. And I'm going to tell you young people something. I wouldn't listen to a guy that don't even want to wash his ass. This uh, a, a rival gang uh, is a rival gang of water. Anytime with soap and hot water is a rival gang to you, I can't listen to you. Now, <clears throat> human trafficking, sex trafficking, all that shit, and pimping, no, that's not the same thing. Because in their minds, of course, trafficking plays with the force of things. You know what I mean? The, the the basically making a bitch do something contrary to her will, what she desires to do, you know, as a woman. And, you know, when it comes to this pimping, everything is a free of choice. Everything is free of will. Right now, you know what I mean? Not just the seven women right now, but outside of my seven students, if I, you know, because when niggas talk to basically you understand me, uh, they they basically the bitches that they presiding over now. Of course, the bitches that they got now are gonna speak highly of them because they with them now. But I got ex bitches that's gonna say the same thing. I don't sit up there and force no bitch to say. That's why I was disrespectful for that goofy to try to paint a picture. You know what I mean? Like I was because even in that circumstance, the bitch basically that uh, and she didn't even call the police. My partner, y'all know now. My partner, um, bitch, sat up there and called the motherfucker police. And this bitch allowed the, the enemy to use her and said some shit out of her goddamn mouth. She ain't had no business saying. And then thought it was cool that as long as she tried to get out and have some money uh, for me when I get out, that everything was going to be cool. Bitch, you know that I don't sit up there and keep no bitch against they, uh, your will. That bitch that y'all seen in that little domestic uh, little violence bitch, that bitch didn't even have a scratch on her. Why do you think they had to drop the case? I didn't even do this to the bitch. We didn't even shake hands. So, you know, when it come to this game, it's free will. Okay? You can leave me whenever you desire. And, baby, whatever you hold up for, whenever you leave, that leave with you. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let, let me do this. No disrespect. You're saying what you see through the spirit of God. If the spirit of God was leading you, directing you, and guiding you, everything that the Holy Ghost does is decently and in order, brother. I am backslidden, but I am very in tune with the letter. you talking to somebody that had a relationship with God. I'm not going to go back and forth with you and play doctrinal ping pong, but please do not. I'm the wrong individual to be religious with. I know when somebody is being sent by the Spirit of God, and I know when somebody has a fervent, zealous spirit, and they're using the Word of God when the Spirit of God didn't even send them. Yeah, I love you too, but you know, we're gonna realize I'm backslidden, but I'm still, I'm still, even in these streets, even in in this in this game, I'm still Minister Gilmore. I'm still the anointed of God. You got to know what you're doing with individuals like me. Right. But the spirit of God didn't lead you, bro. Hold, as, as one scripture said in the word, hold your peace. Now, you know, I want you to realize to my people, you know what I mean? Brother, listen, I don't want to block you. I'm asking you to hold your peace. I don't want to get into spirituality right now. I got other videos that I do later on about that. When I'm speaking about holiness and spirituality, notice that I don't allow my people to use profanity. Neither do I do. Why? Because it's respect for what I'm speaking about at that particular time. But when I am teaching, you know what I mean, about this game, <laughs> unless the Holy Ghost gives you something right then and there, hold your peace, brother. Whoever this is that said they got taught by my grandfather in the Lord, Bishop R.L. Mitchell, blessings to you. Because 
if you was that 7201 South Jeffrey, you know what I mean, or even Morgan, you know, or Cottage Grove, you definitely got taught the word of God because that's all my grandfather did. Yeah. So, you know, if you got taught by Bishop R.L. Mitchell at Old Landmark Holy, uh, Church of God and Holiness in Christ, you was taught very well. If you got taught at the Way of Holiness Mission on 1041 South Halsted by uh, Elder Mosley, you got taught the word of God very well. But blessings to the saints of God, best blessings to the backsliders. I will talk to you guys at another time. Right now is not the time, but I love you. Stay encouraged. Now, getting back to this game, you know, when you are, you know, governed by the spirit of pimping, Another thing that you want to do, because I dealt with the fake jewelry, because the real not going to mess with nothing fake. All right. The real ain't going to wear nothing. The real ain't wearing fake jewelry. All right. And see, another reason why pimps don't wear fake jewelry is because that has the spirit of deception in it. Why do you have to deceive a bride into thinking that you have something? That you, don't? you make the woman more important than what she is. When you have to exalt materialistic things to allure the woman to choose up on what she should be choosing up with automatically, which is some game, information, your knowledge, your wisdom. You don't want a woman to choose up with a car. You don't want a woman to choose you because you got a nice house. You don't want a woman to choose you because you got nice suits. You don't want a woman to choose you because you got nice jewelry. You want to, a woman to choose you. Because you got some uncommon information that can empower her for the rest of her life. So when a pimp is having a conversation with the woman, we ain't sitting over there talking about, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, I ain't got the Ferrari, man, you know what I mean? But I'm thinking about getting a pink one, man. Yeah, man, I have a Mr. and Mrs., you know what I mean? He isn't hers, you dig? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want that pink Ferrari for you, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next bitch that chews up with me with some loyalty and currency, yeah, she's going to be up in that motherfucking Ferrari, man. You know, that Ferrari got her name on it. Yeah, you know what I mean? I got that name already on it. And I'm talking from experience because I've seen guys that profess to be pimps who was in position to do some pimping, but these guys were saying things like, yeah, I already got a condo with your name already on it. Yeah, I already got a Benz with your name already on it. Yeah, I already got a Maserati with your name already on it. The pimping don't do that. You know what I mean? The pimping don't do that. Why do everybody at work call? I don't know. Tell them to stop. But the pimping don't do that. The pimping don't do that. We do not do that at all. Okay, we back. I was buffering, but I'm back. Hold on. There we go. But the pimping don't do that. We don't do that at all. You sitting over there, you know what I mean? You laughed at that. Tell me, man, why they keep calling me a pimp? I don't know, bro. Tell them to stop immediately. But, you know, we don't, we don't do that, man. Hold on. But... My listeners and watchers right now, I'm teaching about the game, okay? So when, let, me, let me say this. I'm going I'm to entertain this for two more seconds because now I feel like I'm being disrespected. I love you guys. I don't want to be disrespectful for those who are authentic in Christ or Islam or within spirituality. But when I'm speaking about carnality or anything else, what you must understand is even when I'm speaking about carnality, the information that I'm giving the people within carnality is still so impeccable because it still is from the irrefutable word of God. So even if it's in carnality, reality is, if it's applied, the probability of them maintaining their lives in, while they're in the streets is higher than them being ignorant of the information. So whether they're in transgression or whether they're in spiritual progression, this information, you know what I mean, is basically bring you to a spirit of realization and make you actually 
take the information and apply it to your life so your reputation won't be evil spoken on and so that you might have a more benefit beneficial you know what i mean uh, reputation you know in the game period so you know what i mean this i just had to take out the time you know as i like you know as i like to say put a little paint where it ain't and say what most can't you know what i mean about this game because i had to give clarity and show charity at the same time because i love you guys I don't want you in nobody's jail. I don't want you in nobody's prison. And I don't want you to be uh, evil spoken on, you know what I mean, within the game. And I don't want you to make provisions by making, uh, you know, your reputation to be evil spoken on simply because of that. Okay, let me, let me do this. It's not only moving, but it moved you out of the comment section. Now you move from the channel. And I told you, I told you guys to stop. I told you, I gave, I gave you instructions. Not receive instructions from the Holy Ghost to witness or to minister. I told you to be quiet. And I told you to quiet down with that religious spirit. Because I knew it wasn't the spirit of God that was leading you to do that. So now... Not only did the spirit of God not lead you, but now you've hindered yourself from possibly witnessing in another video in the future, all because you want to sit up there and profess something that you didn't possess. But, you know, as we say in Chicago, on one little party line back in the day, happy trails. <clears throat> but listen, before I end, I want to say that the pimping has nothing to do with the spirit of tricking. There's so much more that I want to speak on because this 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 is too deep. This is going to end up being a series of what the pimping don't do and what the pimping do. <laughs> it's going to be a cold series. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, Lord. Let me see. Before I get out, I see somebody keep saying the same thing. P, can you elaborate on the wrong teachings of P's not letting their students date black tricks, which I think, why do you think that's not right? Because me personally, I think that um, that broad basically shouldn't be dating a trick in certain areas if he's black. Now, there are certain areas within the states, if she's not dating a black man, she not going to, the pimpin' ain't going to eat. They not going to eat because that's what's predominantly in the area so because you know that's what's predominantly in the area if he tell her that she can't date no black man then she now out of 10 ain't gonna be dating nobody because that's what's predominantly in the area so you know uh as far as dealing with black men um i'm not sending you know i'm a youtuber i mean you know but if i was if i was a pimp if i was a real pimp and if i wasn't such a I wouldn't allow my women to date black men because black men lack professionalism and not only lack professionalism, but a lot of them pay for the date. And then after the date is over, he wants to wrestle with the bitch and try to take his money back. Okay? Another thing is if you pay a lousy 250 or $500, I teach my women that no matter what a trick gave you, there's nothing equal to what you're giving him. So if I was in the game, if I was a real, you know, pimp, if I was like those guys, and I'm just a square dude, I'm the greatest, as you know, I'm the greatest square that ever lived. But if I was like those guys, and if I'm teaching my woman that she's more valuable than billions of dollars, then what the fuck you think my woman, how you think she going to see you with your little uh, 1500 uh, or a thousand or five hundred or two fifty or whatever the hell you know you got. How you think she gonna see you? If if a sit up there and give her any amount of money, I teach my women that your body is the temple of God. So since your body is the temple of God, what dollar with a dead hypocrite on it is equal to the temple of God? Your body is supposed to be the house of the spirit of God. 
This is the temple of God. It houses your solical part. What amount of money can be equivalent to the temple of God? Let me do this for you. I told y'all, man, it's, it's a time to when you play and it's a time to not play. I'm not playing right now. Be quiet. Then a lot of them jokes you guys be making be the definition of corny. Sit your corny ass down somewhere where I'm teaching this game. Be the fuck quiet. Now, you know, what amount of money can be equivalent to your body, bitch? You more valuable than this trick. This trick don't have nothing more valuable than you. He's not doing you no motherfucking favor. So you should never be impressed with no trick. You should never be impressed with money. You should never be impressed with no materialistic thing. Don't you know by you being a hoe that you're more wealthy than that? Don't you know that you're more valuable than that? So when you come into the presence of a trick, you doing him a favor. He ain't doing you no goddamn favor. You a hoe. There's no motherfucking square that's equivalent to you. Not in the eyes of this game and shit, bitch. That's all that matter. So, no. I don't give a fuck if it was a billion dollars, bitch. If that nigga give you a billion dollars, do you not just know that you just gave him uh, something that was so valuable? You gave the uh, artwork of God for a sale? That would still be considered a sale. So, if a trick give a billion dollars to sleep, to, to date a hoe, and he get that billion dollars, and in the eyes of God, the billion dollars still was equal, you know what I mean, to the temple of God, which is her body, then how the fuck did the trick do her a favor? So teach your women their value. Because if you teach your woman the value, you know what I mean, then she ain't going to let no trick devalue her at all. The pimp, pimp, the pimpin', listen, another thing that the pimpin' don't do, the pimpin' don't be making hoes feel less of a woman because they're a hoe. Pimpin' don't do that. If you got a guy that you saying or you think that he's a pimp, and every time y'all get into a, a argument or he cuss you out, he try to slander you and say, you know, I'm going to tell your mama that you a hoe or and, and you didn't you didn't did this so many times you can't be nothing in the streets and you ain't nothing but a hoe anyway. And if he says things like that, he ain't the pimpin'. The pimpin don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Why? Because the pimpin see the horn up here. The horn not equivalent to the pimpin. She's not equal to the pimpin. But in the eyes of the pimpin, she's higher than any square in the world. Or make you feel some type of condemnation for being a hoe. I was roasting bitches on the blade. You have to be a square. Yeah, you 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 got to be a square. And so since you're a square and the spirit of the game is not leading me to lead you out of your ignorance, I'm going to allow you to keep whatever thought that's in your head. Because whatever thought that's in your head doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I was roasting those women, for those that have seen my videos, I've never made a woman feel left. Think before you say something, dumbass. Think. I know that's hard for a lot of people to do. But think. I've never made no woman feel less of a woman because she was a hoe. Never. No bitch will tell you that. No bitch will honestly say the sin set up there made me feel bad. You know, she won't. Okay, let me say. That. But no, pimps don't. Pimps don't look at. Pimps don't look at bitches like that. Mm 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 mm. If you a hoe, you the apple of my eye. But what I tell y'all, I ain't never seen an ugly hoe before. I done seen some ugly handsome bitches, but I ain't never seen no ugly hoe. Why? Because all hoes are beautiful to me. Because in order to be a hoe, you got to do what's vital to the title of a hoe. You can't be a hoe without being obedient. You can't be a hoe without being submissive. You can't be a hoe, you know what I mean, a strong woman. Because if you ask me my definition of a strong woman, I'm going to tell you a hoe. If you tell me, if you say sin, what's your definition of a hoe? I'm going to tell you a strong woman. 
And you can't be a strong woman without being a hoe. You can't be a strong hoe. You can't be a hoe without being a strong woman. Many of you could never qualify, you know, to be a hoe. It's simply because you're not a strong woman. So by you not being a strong woman, you could never be a hoe because you're too weak fucking female. So because you're a weak ass female, no, you could never be a hoe. You could be a prostitute. You could sell your pussy for distributes. But in order to comply and apply this game each and every day, you know, from the pimping, you got to be a strong woman. To go through the adversities and difficulties within this lifestyle and go to a, a correctional facility and not open up your mouth to them people and not sit up there, you know what I mean, and tell on your folks, which is the pimping, to them people. It takes something. It takes something. It takes it take something. You got to be a strong woman. This is irrefutable. You know what I mean? These women, basically, some of them have been raped. Some of them have been robbed. Some of them uh, have been ridiculed and criticized by society, people in religiosity. It didn't cause discrepancy within the family, but they still get into a continuity of going out there to, to seduce and reduce the world for currency. How could you not say that this is not a strong woman? To endure all of what she's endured and continue to endure. Some of them out there, 10, 15, 20 below zero, still endeavoring to get a bankroll. How could you not say that this is not a strong woman? The definition of a hoe is a strong woman. You ask me what a strong woman is, I'm going to tell you a hoe. Yeah, so if you ever say, damn, man, P, you know, she just ain't no hoe. Yeah, she ain't no strong woman. Damn, P, this bitch blow up every two seconds. Yeah, you're going to keep experiencing that because she's, she's not no strong woman. We don't never make women fair for being hoes because how could I make you feel bad for being a hoe when the definition of a hoe, one of the uh, definitions of a hoe is a strong woman? How could I make you feel bad for being a strong woman? That doesn't even logically make sense. So no, I could never ridicule you, criticize you, minimize you, really crucify you. All I could do is glorify you for being a strong woman, a motherfucking hoe. You know what I mean? I could only do that. I can't make you feel bad for being strong. I can't make you feel bad, you know what I mean, for being an example of what these bitches could never be. How? Because there are a lot of bitches that want to be a hoe. They can't. Then it's a lot of bitches that want to be a hoe, but they're scared of what family and friends might say. It's not that they don't want to. Come on now. They really want to be hoes, but they scared of what people might say, you know? But yeah, that's something that the pimping don't do. The pimping, the pimping don't uh, make women feel bad, you know what I mean, for being hoes. No, no. The pimping don't also, let me say this, a wise pimp, let me just say that, a wise pimp that wants the outcome to be a big income, he is not going to sit there and treat this woman like she ain't shit and then expect the world from her. It don't work like that. Because reality is, if you sitting over there making this woman feel like she ain't shit, making her feel like she less of a human being, and then you sending her out to expecting to receive back everything, you want the whole world from her, you treat her like she less than everybody in the world, but when you send her out into the streets, you expect her to bring you back to the world. What sense does that make? Does that make sense to you? That don't make sense to me. That don't make sense to me at all. You know what I mean? That don't make sense. Some of you like, man, why this bitch don't get it? Why this bitch don't, man, why she ain't making no money? And damn, this bitch stupid. Damn, this bitch ain't this bitch dumb. Damn, man, I miss when I had this. Some of you niggas are so stupid and so bold with your stupidity that you actually speak about great times, you know, with former hoes in conversations with other pimps around your recent hoes who you treat like they ain't shit. And what you forgetting is that this is a woman. 
This is a woman. So, of course, she going to emotionally react to what you're saying. And she going to say, he don't even he don't even need me. He don't even want me. He don't even like me. He ain't doing nothing but reminiscing and retrospecting about the good times or when he had somebody that he really liked and wanted. So I'm wasting my time being with him. I need to go be with somebody else or I need to leave the game. The pimping don't make hoes feel like that. The pimping make hoes feel good about, you know, what they do. The pimping gives some of the greatest inspirational and motivational speeches to make bitches do them reaches outside. But the pimping never make bitches feel bad about being a hoe. Uh-uh. No. It is. The pimping, it's so much that I could go. This video ain't man. I knew it was going to be like this, but let me just fit this in before I bounce. The Pippin don't be sitting over there getting married to squares and still be active in the game. Mm -mm. Oh, P, how could you say that? What's the name drive this? Or what's the name house like this? And what's the name got this jewelry? And what's the name? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. If the pimping, if he's supposedly active in the game and he gets married to a square and she didn't have money like Oprah, because I can understand if he said, after I do this, I'm about to position, I'm about to bail all of the pimp out of jail. <laughs> I'm about to give, I'm about to, uh, all my holers and dolers peace there and put my hoes in a position where they can be a blessing to their family or if they got a child or children, you know, or no children just to themselves for the rest of their life. I mean, if it's not a situation like that, get married to her. How? If it's not, if it's not Oprah or if it's not uh, the ex-wife of Michael and she said that she was going to give you a hundred million. She didn't already gave it. Of course, pimps would talk shit, but at the end of the day, if you broke a bitch for a hundred motherfucking million and you getting pimps out of jail and you got pimps, you know what I mean, looking good on their appeal coming back from... So, but if it's not a situation like that, help this make, us, help this make sense. What's the logic to this? It ain't no logic. Niggas is getting married to bitches that ain't got nothing to do with this game because they don't want nothing to do as far as marriage with bitches that has something to do with the game. And I'm not saying everybody, but majority of these niggas that's married to school video are already too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up coming back either tomorrow on the same subject or the day after next. And I'm going to come back on this. And, um, you know, we're going to chop it up some more. But make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the share button. Make sure that uh, you go to my Instagram uh, and put it in S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P. And follow me right now, immediately. You know what I mean? Am I back now? Tony, am I back now? Can they see me? Because I know I went off. But see, when it be going off on y'all end, on my end, it's, it's cool. So let me know, let me know I'm good. Okay, y'all saying that I'm cool now? Okay. So, you know, uh, I guess I gave it a little more two percent of what I was saying. I was just simply saying that all of this uh, that you guys are seeing, where these guys are saying they active pimps, but they married. They got, they got a side, they got a life number two. They got sideline lives and shit like that. They live in double lives. We don't do that. We don't do that. I'm not living a double life. Check it. Philip Brandon Gilmore. I don't have child support on my name. I don't have marriage on my name. I don't got snitch on my name. I don't live a double life. I, you know what I do. I'm a YouTuber. I'm the greatest square that ever lived. But you know what I do. I'm not married. I don't have a girlfriend. Neither am I endeavoring to have one. So all of these guys that got girlfriends and wives and shit on the side, these girl, these guys are prostitute hustlers. They are not pimps. 
active pimps are not married. He can say that he's still checking a bag. He can say that he's living off the earnings of prostitution. But as far as actively pimping, and then a lot of them married to a damn square, and the square ain't even rich, the square ain't even wealthy, he got married because he wanted to get married because he's in love. But that's it. I save, uh, I go in a little bit more on my next video. This is what I need everybody to do. Show me love, man. Go to Instagram right now. Put in S-I-N-F-U-L-T-H-E-P and follow me on Instagram. I need everybody to go there because I will be going live most likely on my Instagram uh, page most likely tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. You know what I mean? But make sure. Hold on for a minute. I gave you a shout out on Instagram. Appreciate that. Royal Sinful to Pee on Instagram. Right. Thank you, Turf. My nigga. Yeah, my uh appreciate that good guy. I like that name anyway, the good guy. Yeah, but as you know, they destroyed my IG uh account. That's gone. You know, hopefully I can get it back if I can't, it is what it is. But S I N F U L T H E P on Instagram. Make sure you like this video. If you didn't like this video, let's see if we get that up to 500. Hit the like. If you haven't already, uh, hit the like button. Make sure you share this video. Share it on, and I'm not done. You know, let me do this, man. Idiots. But you know what I mean? Make sure that you like this. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. Women that pay other women are not even worth having. They're stupid. Well, I say this. Not only they, they, They're confused. Any woman that's giving money to another woman is the best definition of perplex. I get into that another time. That's another video. But I do have other videos that I got to make. As you know, I'm about to be a workaholic. But I, I owed you guys this. This is part one. Uh, I might do part two Friday or Saturday. You know what I mean? But this is just part one because I'm going to give you guys some time. You know, of course, I'm going to be doing another pre-recorded. And I might do a, a, a live, you know, later on. You live as long as you want. Never want as long as you live. I love you. Stay encouraged. Hit that channel button for me and subscribe to all my channels. I need all 212 people right now because we didn't win. We, if, I, if my signal wasn't buffering, we would have got over 500. But I think the most we did... You know, was uh, we got all the way up to 481 people on this little ass channel. You know what I mean? So even though we on the little channel, we still doing numbers, baby. So I appreciate you guys, man, for fucking with me. I love y'all. Hit the channel button and subscribe to all my channels. I love you guys. Shout out to Robin, Helena, you know what I mean? Turf, you know what I mean? Tony, the good guy, my nigga Jay, you know what I mean? Goldie, you know what I mean? I love all y'all, man. Y'all family too.